In the universe of Warhammer, allegiances are a fragile thing. The taint of chaos is ever present. And in the grim darkness of the far-flung future, the Dark Angels and Astra Militarum find each other at odds for reasons only the Emperor knows. Welcome to Play on Tabletop 40k Live! Greetings 40k fans, Owen and JT here today. Nick is taking on Steven Box of Vanguard Tactics in a 2,000 point matchup. Gentlemen! Paul, this is gonna be exciting. Steven, welcome here. So glad to have you back in the studio. May I cannot wait for this because our last live stream was absolutely epic. It was. So if you didn't see it, last year we did a live stream. We did Guard versus Gene Solar Cults. Yeah. And it was an epic, epic live stream. The funny thing about it is it went on to do probably be the best performing live stream we've ever had on the channel in terms of just people watching it. It might kind of even insane. be the best ever live stream. It's kind of insane how many people watched it. I don't know yeah. why the YouTube algorithm just kind of caught it and grabbed it and ran with it, but let's see if we can do that again. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everyone that's watching. We are going to have a 2,000-point matchup today. My guard. Yes. This is my Dark Angels. Awesome. And I'm going to be running some of the new units, so I'm super excited about that. I've got some of the Inner Circle companions. I'm, yeah, stoked to get them on the table. You do have to contend with a giant <laughs> Quake Cannon. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, uh, that could be a problem. Yeah. Uh, a problem. Named Penelope from our special character tier on Patreon. Oh, Penelope. <laughs> Penelope the Quake Cannon. Well, I can't kill Penelope, can I? That no, you can't now. Wrong. Exactly. Now, before we go too much further, we do want to address, we do have a sponsor for this episode, and that is, well, yourself. It's me, yeah. I'm super excited to be able to sponsor a show here, and also not only that play, the, obviously, the game, but for me, it's going to be around the Vanguard Tactics Academy. And this is something I am immensely proud of. Me and my team have worked so hard to bring this out. It's kind of like on its fourth rendition now. And the whole purpose of the Academy is just to help people really feel comfortable to go to the table with their favorite armies, their favorite miniatures, and understand exactly what they need to do with it. So it's an online course. Anybody can take it. And we've helped nearly well, nearly 2,000 people now over the four years to uh, go through the course. So I'm <laughs> super stoked for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for the Academy, don't you? Yeah, so uh, the course actually starts on Monday, the 4th of March. So we're gonna give a 10% off if you use the coupon PLAY, and we've got a pay in one installment, or you can pay in four. So you save a little bit of money by going for the pay in one, chuck on the coupon, and um, yeah, we'd love to see you with the other 100 students that we've essentially got, because there are only 100 spaces. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Uh, JT, do you want to tell us about the mission we're playing and maybe the special interaction that we're going to have today? Ah, uh, yes. So our mission today is going to be priority targets. Uh, sort of a classic mission, up to 10 victory points per turn, each objective being worth five points. And the special interaction today is for every $50 in support that comes in, whether it be gifted memberships or Super Chats, you can have some fun with us by using a sniper. Um, the classic sniper rules are back. It's one of our fan favorites, and I just love it when a key character gets punked out right before charge. It makes my Drukari heart happy. So you guys <laughs> will be able to shoot the sniper at targets. Should mention as well, both players are playing tactical objectives as well. Yes, tactical objectives are always fun. That bit of randomness, and it also just makes you have to change your tactics on the fly. It's a lot of fun. That you do. Okay, well, do you want to go through our armies here? Why don't, you, why don't you tell us about your army here? I will. I'd love to, because I'm super excited to get we, this on the table. We even have some visuals for it. You can show the visuals. Oh. Uh, we could use that one, sure. Oh. Uh, do I need one? Yes, I do need one. We, we've got a purpose. We've got a sniper. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. If, um, if you go to the close-up there, there's our, there's our sniper. We're using Tack's favorite miniature. What? His, his, he loves it. In fact, he's actually ordered five more. Oh. Um, yeah, and that's our sniper that'll be sniping out the battlefield. We'll put him up here for now. I mean, it looks fantastic. Hey, he finally has a punch of fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, did, did we see it in the close up? No, we didn't see the close up. There it is. There it is. There it is in the close up. Yeah. Beauty. There we go. That's a little bit closer. Much better, much better. Okay. What do you have in your army, Steven? Okay, so I'm running the Gladius Detachment today uh, for Space Marines. And the reason why is because I know it inside out, and um, I also want to show off all the different elements, and the Gladius is a great way to do that. There's so many cool ways with the new book to run the army. We don't really quite have enough of one force to really be able to deliver that. So in the army, I've got um, Asmodai, the brand new model who looks beautiful. We've got Azriel. We've got a captain. Uh, so if you see the guy with the banner, that is actually my cool converted captain we're going to be using today. 
Uh, we've also got some six Blade Guard. We've got six of the Inner Circle Companions. We've got six Black Knights. We've got Samael, two units of Infiltrators, a, uh, <laughs> a Land Raider Redeemer, a Repulsor Executioner, and I've also got a Lieutenant with Fire Discipline Enhancement, and I've also got five Assault Intercessors and ten Stern Guard. So reserves coming in. Yep. Excellent. Well, I have brought a very large bodied guard list uh, leading the charge of course is lord solar i love this miniature it's very cool painted by one of our patrons it's he's cool that is beautiful uh we've called him uh lord cosine because that's his handle on on uh, discord oh awesome <laughs> uh in a group of uh rough riders yeah and then we have another group of rough riders and two other leaders i've got a commissar in a transport down here uh leading a, a unit of Regular Guardsmen, just to run out the field. I've got a unit of Kashigan being led by Caden Castellan to give them those sustained hits in another vehicle over here. Uh, I have a total of five Guardsmen units, a yep. bunch equipped with plasmas and grenade launchers. I've got Earthshaker cannons, basically out of, line of light, out of line of sight artillery. I've got a Hellhound for flamer shots. I've got two Scout Sentinels. I've got a Flat Cannon Hydra. And I've got, that's it. Okay. That's my army. All right. Yeah, that's very Hey, look at that. I did it all. So the mission today is going to be priority targets. Yes. Uh, so who, uh, JT, priority targets, how does it work? The priority targets is a real fun one. One of my favorites, actually, because it's only 10 points worth primary maximum per turn through turns two, three, four, and to five. However, at the end of the battle, each objective that you hold is worth five points up to 15. Ooh. So having units left at the end of the game is super beneficial. Yeah, and the mission special rule today is that it's chilling rain. Chilling rain, yeah. Chilling, chilling rain. rain, nice and easy for a live stream, not make it too complicated. It's just no special rules. Yeah. Well, sniper, but yeah. We yeah. got sniper special rule. Yeah. 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 Rough riders, Ryan's be the CFL. You bet. Go, go, riders, go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but which rough riders? Which That's rough riders? Uh, I bleed green, baby. <laughs> So, we've already deployed. Yeah. I've got my army deployed. You've got your army deployed. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to know before we go, JT? I think that's just about it. The only thing to keep in mind, folks, is uh, Vanguard Tactics and the Academy are sponsoring this episode. We have the link in the description below, uh, and there's a 10% off for anybody who uses that code. So, save yourself a little bit of money. They also have installment options available, so it's not just one big chunk. Uh, but is it over 2,000 players you've had now, Stephen, go through the Academy? Yeah, over the last five years since its first edition, the Academy is over, well, it's actually 176 lessons taking you from army list building to how to play each mission. We cover every That's secondary awesome. card. And we just want to help you get the most from your model. So yeah. we don't teach you this is the best list. We're like, hey, this is the tools you need so that you can yeah. go to the table and just have some fun. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, note in the chat, we were having some, um, some a few scale, uh, our sync issues. Have we figured those out, how we're doing? So sync issues should be resolved. So sorry about that. Uh, playing with a bit of a new system. David Maloney, thank you so much. Nick, you're making it, <laughs> it hard for me here. I feel like I should root for Dark Angels, but putting us, putting using the Lord Solar makes me feel like it. Uh, David, that, that, that is the painter right here. So thank you so much. Now, oh, and, and John McCardle, thank you so much. So I want to reiterate what JT said earlier is that those, those gifts, those donations, Make sniper shots happen on the table. It's a way for you guys to interact with the, the game, yeah. have a little bit of fun, as well as it directly supports the channel. It, it really literally keeps the lights on, helps us go on. Yeah, I've got a lovely story about John. He is uh, a super nice guy. Yeah. And uh, when he found out that Jake couldn't go to the LVO with me this year, uh, he paid for his flight so Jake could go. He is wow. He is incredibly generous. So John, thank you so, so much for supporting our channel and you made Jake's trip just incredible. So thank you, John. So, JT, how many sniper shots does that put us at? Is that one or two at, at this point? Just one? Now, JT is going to be our game master, for lack of a better term, and he's going to decide when those happen. So, JT, is it happening now, or should we wait, play the game a bit? Well, we have to deploy first. We have already deployed. Deployment's well, done. Well, we roll to see who goes first. Let's roll to see who goes first. Well, Nick. Win, lose, or draw. Good this luck. This is going to be oh, epic. Excited. Here we go. I've got a six. Ooh, you know what's needed? Boom! A Steven Box. Thanks. Patented full axe roll. No, oh. didn't work. you're working on it though. Normally, it's a lot. Yeah, usually it's like a one or two. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. Yeah. More, more reps of the gym. Yeah, you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Okay. First turn. Oh, what am I going to do? Right, I need to draw some cards. Um, I've got Azro on the list. He's on the table, so I'm going to get some extra CP age. So I'm going to go up to three. You get oh, sorry, two. Yeah, oh, okay. It was on one, and I just added two on yeah. and I went okay. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we well, need like a zero on these dice. Cheating already. Right. Got it. That's what they say. Uh, right, so the first card is cleanse. I need to cleanse some objectives. They've got to be kept nice and clean. Uh, and then I've got Storm uh, hostile. hostile Objectives, which I cannot do turn one, so I'll redraw that one, uh, which is Engage in All Fronts. Take Table Quarters. Exactly that. So um, get some models in different quarters. That one might actually prove difficult for this turn, but we shall see. Maybe I can get three quarters. Yeah, who knows? Uh, so Command Face stuff. I need to consider what I'm going to do here. Am I going to go for the old uh, Devastator Doctrine? Um, just to get a little bit more leverage on the shooting phase. That will allow me basically to have assault on my weapons. Yeah. All right. So he's going to start his moon phase. Lazy DM, thank you so much. Adding another sniper shot. Oh, Lazy DM wants to tell you that some of that money needs to go towards getting Steven some Tim Hortons. Welcome to Canada. Oh, Tim Hortons. I've heard about this. <laughs> heard about Tim Hortons. OK, um, I need to also oath of moment a target. I don't have a great deal on this round, I don't think. How many wounds is this, uh, has Penelope got? I believe it's 40 billion. Okay. Right. And that's a technical number, that's right. but I will get it to you right now. What a lot of uh, wounds, that one, mate. <laughs> uh, I will go for the Devastator Doctrine. I think it's probably worth it. And I'm going to oaf Penelope. 24. I did give you a nice, beautiful target there to try to kill first turn. You did. Yeah. 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 I, and I had to kind of risk it. There was really no other place to put them. No. So. Um, okay, so table quarters. Probably should be able to get that one. Should be able to get that one. These two could be a lot more challenging. Kenny Gills, thank you so much. Happy to post again to support more. Just came from watching Nick versus Dave. Now I have to watch Nick versus Steve. Thank you for all of the constant quality content. Well, thank you very much. I believe okay. that puts us at two sniper shots coming in, and uh, we're still waiting on JT to tell us when those are going to come in. Actually, gentlemen, uh, we have four sniper shots thanks to the number of subs that were gifted. Uh, that's going to be one going into each of you right now with two remaining uh, to be gone through in about a half turn or so. So right about now, you're both going to get shot. <laughs> to make it easy, let's let... Uh, let's let Steven pick a target, and then let's let Nick pick a target, and you both get to roll. Sniper shot. Well, I'm gonna pick Asmodei. What? what? This one? Isn't that Asmodei? That's Samael. Oh, Samael. I don't like that guy either. All right. Samael on the bike over there. Okay. And who are you picking? Um, who's this guy here? Uh, that is just a sergeant of the squad. Just a sergeant. If you want a character, yeah. I've got uh, a guy in a vehicle, so, so not, immune. So not him. Kenny Castell, immune, and Lord Solar. Right, and what, who about this tech marine? Ah, uh, that is an engine seer. Yep. What's he do? Fix the tank. Yeah. Lord Solar is then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do I need to hit on? Well, a vin it's a Vindicator stats, which means hidden on a two up. Five. All right. I believe it's strength five. Six does something deadly, right? I think believe it comes deadly wounds. Yeah. Two. Um, all right. So that is a save. I believe I still get my. Oh, we gotta look up the Vindicator stats really quickly here. Got him for you. Here you right got him. Got him for me. Okay. Ready. What, what is it? What does a two mean? Did we get it? So dev the Exodus rifle uh, hits on a two, strength seven, AP three, D three plus three, ignores cover precision. So I get a six up normally, but I have a five up invuln. Okay. How much damage does it do? D three plus three. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> this is on solar, yeah? This is on solar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Solar has a bigger, a bigger save. Yeah. Solar has a four up save. I still failed it. OK, here we go. Yeah. Oh, All right. <laughs> That four was, wounds of his eight. That was lucky. So he's down to four wounds. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awful if he had died turn one. Yeah, that would have been a sad turn one uh, yeah. shift. Yeah. All right, and then I'm targeting Samuel on the bike. Whoa, don't know if I agree with that. Sniper, fire! Hits! And it's a wound, not right. a devastating wound. So one wound at minus three. So I've got a four up invulnerable save. Oh, that's, oh, it's a six, but out, out of the box. box. That's a five in the box. Oh. I'm okay. Yeah, you're totally fine. Mm. Sniper fails! Cool, cool, cool. Right. Is that is that that? Is that that done? Uh, that's the snipers done. Yep. I think we have more snipers coming, but JT is waiting for them for another time. 
Another phase. Yeah, maybe in a phase or so. Well, at least let Steven move. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Uh, what's the stats on... What's the, uh, the this big cannon? What does it do? Tell me. Oh, it... Okay, let me, let me give you the beautiful, blessingful stats of the Quake Cannon from the Bane Sword, one of my favorite new finds in the Guard Codex. So the Quake Cannon does D6 plus six shots. At strength 16, at minus four, that do four damage each. Wow. They also ignore cover. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty good. Right, so I'm gonna spend one CP uh, to put this unit here in the Assault Doctrine so it can advance and charge, okay? Ooh, we're gonna try to get into the tank? Uh, I need to get engaged on fronts. Yeah, that makes sense. That so makes sense. I want options. It's not the best choice, but that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use that unit first. Five. Okay, I like that a lot, actually. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go this way, I think. <laughs> so you're moving up to try to get engaged on fronts? Yeah, basically, is the intent here. I'm gonna keep one model within three. Makes sense. Is a good call, JT? What do you think? Putting a unit forward, turn one, can be a challenge and can be sometimes a misplay, sometimes bait. Sometimes a cunning plan. That is going to get me engaged. I do. Oh, no, I need to be that way. Oh, it does say turn four there, Owen. It should say turn one. <laughs> okay. Then this unit of infiltrators is also going to advance. Oh, I need to be in the dice tray. Do -do. Six. Ooh, good advance. Good advance. We've we've had a couple of super chats come in there. I missed the one there, but Corgi Watch, would you recommend Dark Angels of the Second Army? What do you think, Owen? Or Steven, I don't call you Owen, sorry. Um, I think the Inner Circle Companions are just such a beautiful model range that I just think, yes. So I really like them a lot. Um, yeah, I think Dark Angels are good. They've got Azrael, which is a really nice unit, just to get you those extra CPs. And you could just, I think, explore different paint ranges, which I really like. You could do the green, you can yeah. do the bone, you can do the kind of black. It, it's just nice. It keeps it really fresh from a hobby perspective, which I really like as well. Okay, so the Redeemer, uh, the gentlemen inside, the old Stern Guard veterans, are going to disembark, and then what they're going to do is just move into the bottom of here, okay? Elijah Patrick says, go, Dark Angels. Sorry, Nick, got a chair in my fashion. That's okay. I can't believe it's already been six months since I found Warhammer. Keep up the great work, guys. JT, I think I missed a couple of Super Chats back there. I uh, David miss? Maloney is now cheering uh, fully for, for Nick. <laughs> I think that's I because that you one. shot his uh, model that he painted. Yeah, sorry. Didn't miss any others? Uh, I'm not, I don't think so. Uh, what do we got? Uh, there are a couple more sniper shots. Death Guard Dave and Atremius, thank you very much for the donations. We've got uh, a couple of sniper shots on deck for you. We're going to at least let Stephen finish his movement phase here. Interesting <laughs> movement phase it is as well. He's, now. The guard are very, very shooty. All of but this. But he's got some high armor, so it's good to jump in. Okay. So the stern guard have disembarked. And this unit of blade guard are also gonna get in because it's got a transport capacity of 14. Oh, so you, oh, you, you, you brought one unit out of the transport yep. and then you're bringing the blade guard inside the transport. And that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 Death Guard Dave is one of our uh, Death Guard coaches for VT. He went through the academy and he's just an absolute legend. So. Yeah, give a shout out to Death Guard Dave. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just make sure. Sorry? Somebody's asked how much you bench. How much I bench? <laughs> so my best ever at competition uh, was 165 kilos. So uh, whatever that is in pounds, but you times that by 2.2. Yeah, and I was 82 kilos uh, at that competition. So like double his body weight. That's like big. me bench press pressing a Buick. Yeah. No one tells Steven he's sporting some gray hair. Wow, he is really whoa, whoa. after all. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Chris Ferenstock. Fainstock. Oh. Fonstock? Fonnystock. Not sure how to pronounce that. Me and Chris are going to fall out, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Thanks, Chris. Uh, Cedar Smith saying, can we have a bit of behind the scenes view on how all the cameras look? Um, we do that occasionally in our, uh, in our uh, Discord, and we should probably do it again. And there was also a question earlier that I missed about when the Coliseum is coming out. Last week, I believe it was, we did a Coliseum ex exhibition game. We are putting together a series for exclusive content that should be releasing, I believe it's next week. It's called the King of the Coliseum, where we go through every single faction in 500 point mini games. It is super tactical, a lot of fun, and we're gonna see every faction play. Basically, if you win the fight, you keep playing with your army, same list, same faction, until you lose, and then you play, and then another faction keeps, that faction keeps going until it loses, and then we're gonna see what faction reigns supreme at the end. I think it's like, I think it worked out, it's 29 games to get all the factions in. Hey, Nick. Yeah. While Steven is finishing up his moon face here, I've got a great question regarding traveling with an army and suggestions on the best way to do so. And maybe Steven, when you're finished up, you could uh, you could answer that question as well, having just traveled all the way across the pond. Yes, I just got back from Ontario with Mini Wargaming. That was a lot of fun. They just released a battle report with me versus Dave. Tons of fun, but uh, traveling with an army is difficult. Foam helps. Usually what I do is I use, um, I take my, I have a big giant suitcase and I have one of those old GW hard cases and I have foam in it and put the hard case inside my suitcase, put the clothes surrounding it so it uh, insulates it more, and I just generally don't bring many clothes. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just play skins, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually did something really similar. Um, I just, I actually love the Frontline Gaming brought out a bag. Um, they sent me one a while ago, and it is absolutely awesome. It's some of the, it's one of the best things I've used. Um, in the foam in that, I just use for everything now. Nice. And it actually travels on a plane. Oh, cool. Um, and it's nice and lightweight. You've got room for an iPad in the side, so you don't, you know, you could take it as your hand luggage. Oh. And, uh, yeah, if... Hey, hey Frontline, I'm going to Adepticon. Do you want to send me one of those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rhino's in the house. Yeah, he's rooting for me, though. Cheers, what? Dr. Rhino. What? Yeah. Rhino. He's, yeah, he's just here for rooting for me. Yeah. Just here. Yeah. Is the moving phase done? Yeah. You gonna shoot me? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but first... This unit here of uh, infiltrators are going to cleanse, and they'll cleanse both objectives by doing so. Yeah. I didn't know one unit can cleanse both objectives. Yeah, so one unit does the, like... Action. Yeah, the, the clean. Okay. And uh, basically, because they're in range of those objectives, they're both cleansed. I never thought about that, but yeah, how it's worded, you could definitely cleanse multiple objectives. You just got to be wide enough. Yep. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Yep. So, uh, Should have overwatched them. Well, you know, you could have. I don't know if it has been worth it, to be fair. No, I don't know if it would have been. If um, I killed one, you would have been able to cleanse. Yeah, it would have stretched me out a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, could, well, I could still cleanse one, but I'm not going to yeah. get both points. You would have, would have got both, yeah. That's it, yeah. So I'm going to shoot Penelope with the Executioner, okay? Um, so uh, I'm going to spend a CP here to get... Because I'm in the Devastated Doctrine, ignores cover and plus one AP. Nice. All right. Now, you are the over target, which is quite interesting. So we've also got a... <laughs> which is interesting, eh? It's interesting. Now I've got what we call a um, a big a big gun, and it's called a heavy laser destroyer. It's two shots. From this is from here. You got it. <laughs> I hit on threes. You didn't let me put up my invulnerable save from my engine seer. You went first. Ah, okay. Yeah. Don't worry. You didn't cheat me. I'm just I'm complaining. All oh, right. I for no reason. I got it. So <laughs> strength of a sixteen. Uh, toughness thirteen. So threes. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see there. Uh, so just the one wound, actually. Uh, AP uh, minus five, no cover. How you said that? Have you seen Hot Fuzz? Many a time. Just the one wound, actually. It's film, <laughs> it's film around the corner from my house. So, you said it's uh, no cover? AP minus five, ignores cover. Ignores cover. I don't even get a save then. I've got a two up, but minus five doesn't help me. No. Yeah. I was really hoping for two wounds to go through. So. All right, well, one wound goes through. How much damage? D6 plus four. Five damage. Yeah, it's not the best I've seen, is it? You don't want to trade that CP for VP, do you? Uh, well, the issue is I've spent them both. You've got, whoa, all right, you did? You yes, did spend them both. I've spent them both already. Yeah. Um, so, well, that concludes the big shots uh, for a total of five damage. So, I Mr. Have... Box. Yes? Uh, Dr. Rhino has said that if you win this game... Yeah? Where did you say that? He will do 100 low box squats just for you. Oh! Oh, a low box. <laughs> Um, right. I gotta be honest, that hurts me thinking about it. Like, good <laughs> can... lord, Rhino, what are you doing, man? Some people just like the punishment. 
yeah. think he might be a Drukari player at heart. I'm yeah. not kidding. Like, wow. Is. But hey, the bet's on the table. Let's see it. Nick, throw the game. I want to see Rhino's yeah. thighs explode. <laughs> so concede at this point, and we'll just watch Dr. Rhino. Sure thing. Yeah. All right. Good game. Yeah. Good game. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thank uh, Dr. Rhino. Thank you. 110. Uh, right, okay. Before you go um, further, yeah. I, I have 20 wounds. I just wanted to declare it. I've got 20 wounds left on Penelope, uh, the uh, uh, Baneblade variant. Uh, JD, before we go further, I just want to make sure we're not doing snipers, right? I don't have to worry about that? I don't have to worry about it? Yep. Okay. Oh, no, we haven't. We finished the movement phase. No, I finished the shooting phase. Oh, you are finished the shooting phase. <laughs> phase well, and it. it's one sniper each. Gentlemen, please. Starting with whose turn it is, Mr. Stephen Box gets to fire first. Mr. Solar. Yeah? You want to shoot the solar again? Of course. I don't know if you can. You're not allowed to. Okay? <laughs> You're going to kill him. Am I not allowed to shoot? Sure, I guess you are. <laughs> Five. That does wound. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> Because it, it does D3 plus one damage, and a lot of actually kill them. It does D3 plus three, actually. D3, re-roll that one. I don't, but I'm going to. <laughs> one CP, trying to get a four up to save his life. It saves hey. it! He's alive! I'm actually kind of happy for you, but I like the pressure I put you on. Yeah, it was a lot of it pressure. Was nice. That was annoying. I oh, know. Sorry. I didn't do anything. So you know what? In return, I'm going to try to kill one of these guys so you don't get cleansed double times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought the rules have to be you have to shoot a character. Did, there's no rules about that. You can shoot anything. Wow. You've seen... Yeah. You've seen this guy. Hit that too! Ah! Yeah. See, that serves you right. How does that serve me right? You almost killed my leader. Because you've got an assassin. It's not going to be like, oh, um, we, we actually... Dave, the infiltrator, is really a problem these days. But he is. Not a problem. <laughs> Dave is fine. <laughs> Thank so... you, Mandy D, for your donation of $10. <laughs> Nick, don't throw the game. Uh, Mandy D will run 10 miles if you win. Oh, Mandy. awesome. Let's do it. Mandy, if, <laughs> Mandy, you should be doing 20 by now. Come on. Step that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For plus one AP ignores cover? What's that? Did we miss something? It's a stratagem I used. Oh, got it. Yeah. yeah. It's called um, a really good one. Uh... So just to be clear what we're doing for this, someone asked in the chat there, uh, one of the ways you can help support the channel is by either joining our membership, gifting memberships, or donating directly in Super Chat. And by doing so, you will trigger sniper shots. We have two, trigger, uh, two coming up. And uh, we're about halfway through to another sniper shot, and these will trigger throughout the games. And you guys can help choose the targets, and we can try to kill stuff on the table. In fact, I'd love to hear you guys choose the targets. And uh, it, it, it's a cool way that you guys can interact with the game, have fun in the chat, but also it supports the channel directly. So yeah. thank you very much. 100%. Um, so we're just down to the charge phase at this stage of the game. You want to charge anything? Yep. What are you going to charge? I actually want to charge your... No, I want to get engaged in all fronts. What are you charging? I'm going to charge. Penelope? I'm going to charge here, yeah. Yeah, OK. What do you need? Uh, I believe I'm within six, so I think a five. But if I need a six, have a little look. Yeah, it's pretty close. So you're within six inches of the wall, and I'm touching the wall. Perfect. Five. Let's bring it. Bring it. Double ones. Double ones. Don't tempt me, Frodo. <sighs> I called it. Come on in. Which is actually ideal, because now I can go there in closer what I need to be doing with my life then because I didn't roll a six which was important yeah I can now dial in three and get me some <laughs> engage on all those fronts it's a lot of fronts to engage on you do you do have to engage on fronts when you are going for it yeah um, we're currently engaged on three fronts one two three yeah unless your thing kills me in combat which it might do. No, it won't. Let's see what Penelope's got up her sleeve. Four, six. Well, you get to fight me first. Of course I do. Yeah. See if you can hit me. Uh, I've never actually charged with the unit of infiltrators before. So this is all uh, news to me. Um, I think it's three attacks each. Sounds about right. I don't think I'm going to do anything, but we'll just roll it for camera. So uh, the melee attacks are three attacks each. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're hitting on threes. But you are the oath target, so watch out. I may kill you here. Um, cool. Yeah, you're definitely going to kill me. Yep. 100%. Six is to wound. T13. Look at that. One six. So Two up. You're going to roll a one. No. With style as well. Look at these fancy split-colored dice. And where do you get a set of dice? Well, from? they're not available yet, but these are anniversary dice. You can get split-tone or blue... Or 
orange or split tone dark yeah. are two brand colors. Oh, nice. And uh, they're for our five year anniversary. This is, this is our fifth year doing this. Yeah. And they're gonna be available from Baron of Dice very soon. We're looking forward to those. We're also gonna be selling them at Adepticon. All right, cool. Hey, Steven. Yes. David Maloney has a question for you. He'd like to know how accessible will the Academy be, at Academy Live Lessons be for players on the West Coast of the United States? Yeah, so we've actually got coaches in America. Uh, so we have, we have time zones all covered from Australia to the UK. Every single live lesson is recorded as well. We give the opportunity at the start of the week to get any questions in using some Google Forms. So if you know you're gonna be busy and you won't be able to make that quiz the coach session or the enemy sighted where we go over actually how to beat an enemy unit or an army, um, yeah, then you can get your questions in. And we put every single live lesson in the vault which you get access to whilst you're an academy student. So yeah, that's Two wounds. Top. He hits on fours in close combat. Yeah, okay. Two wounds, no minus. Thank you, Boutte okay. Kicker. Appreciate it very there much. Yes, their Come antics are fun to watch. Yeah. Well, let's uh, end, the, end your turn. How many points do you score? Okay, so uh, scores and doors. I will get five points for doing some top standing cleansing. And also, I've got engaging all friends for three quarters, which will give me a total of three victory points. So that is eight points for the Dark Angels. I'll go to one CP, and I'll pass the turn over to you, sir. I gotta say, this is a very different style of gameplay I've seen from you than other games. Yeah. I could tell that you want to win this one. <laughs> because the last time we played, you're like, oh, you should do this, you should do this. It was like this coaching session. I was, but I'm missing that this I mean, time. You, you, just, you just want to kill me. Well, you haven't had a turn yet. <laughs> so to be clear, gentlemen, uh, yeah. no command points for either at the end of the turn and one each going into turn next half. Is that right? Uh, yes. yes, so I have one command point. You have zero command points. I've got one now, going into yours. And uh, that ends the turn. Mm, that ends the half turn. Half turn. So at the half turn, we have a score of eight to nothing in favor of Mr. Steven Box. Nick is up. There's a couple of sniper Oops, shots on deck. And don't forget, we've got that poll running as to what the next sniper shot should target. So make sure to get your answers in there and we'll make sure to find what we can in the chat to who dies next. I mean, um, who gets shot next. Let's kill Lord Solar. Uh, okay. Taco Games, so yeah, what kidding. is the level required to but begin be these courses? Um, if any of you sign up, I'll also throw in my start playing course, which is brand new for beginners, and that's kind of the one we recommend people do uh, before they join the academy. So if anybody uses that uh, play uh, coupon, I'll be able to track it, and then tomorrow or Monday, or no, it'll be actually, I'll do it after this. Anybody that signs up, yeah, I'll also just give you the start playing course for free, okay, as a bit of a thanks. And then once you've watched that, you'll be ready to go. We get new players most of the time on the academy. We then get some people that are already playing at their friend's house or you know at local clubs. And maybe their ambition is to maybe one day join the community going to tournaments or narrative you know events where we know it can often be a struggle. It's a very overwhelming game to kind of help people along their journey, really. We've got a $5 donation from Kelsey Ito. Thank you very much. Uh, looking for a bicep flex for the camera. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm stuck back here behind the camera. There's no camera on me, so I can't really flex. Yeah. Oh, you didn't mean me. <laughs> yeah. They didn't, they didn't mean me. Well, they didn't say. Oh, we could do both of it. There's like. <laughs> Wait, look at these wimpy Which muscles. camera? Uh, that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> I That's for you, Kelsey. Night. At the beginning of my turn, I'm gonna go up a command point. I now have two command points. Uh, sorry, I have one command point because I spent it on the reroll for Lord Solar. But then Lord Solar gives me another command point. Because he's still alive. Because he's still alive. He didn't die. He didn't die. Yeah. Going up to two, and then I drew my secondaries. I've got assassination, kill one of your characters. Yeah. There's a bunch of characters in this vehicle. Yes. And you got is. a character out in the open here. Yes. Uh, is this a character here? Yes. Okay, so I can't really see him, possibly kill him. Is he, but he's in a big group of Unit, the unit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got secure no man's land, which is take two of the center objectives. Ooh. So this one probably out of range. Possibly take this one. CR Smith, and yes. Probably, very definitely take that one. Easily do that characters. one, yeah. Yeah. So in the Let's command phase, I'm also going to give out a bunch of orders. So Lord Solar can give out three orders. The first one is going to give out is take aim on the Bane Blade. Might as well, because it gets some plus one ballistic skill. He's the only one that can do it. Okay. Take advantage of that. Mm. Uh, then. I'm going to give move, move, move from Lord Sorler to this unit of infantry. Yep. Which is going to allow them to, on a roll of a two, get onto this objective. On a roll of a two? I believe it. It might be a three, but I believe I'm pretty close. Yeah, it looks good. You're, you're within yep. 15, so yeah, whatever that is. Yeah. And uh, then the he's going to give his last order to a, take aim on this 
Earthshaker Carriage right here. Okay. And then this Kanye Castellan using the Vox on the Chimera. It's gonna give out two orders. And he's oh, he's yeah. got the enhancement for it. The Voxes were down today. The Voxes were down today? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I thought so. They fixed it though. Oh. <laughs> to take aim wow. on this Earthshaker Carriage. And in addition, we are going to do... <laughs> I was going to give you the silent treatment. <laughs> Fix bayonets on these horses. Got it. So what's what I'm thinking here is the horses are going to move up, and then with their fast movement, because we're counting this as a ruin, so we can just move through it. Or sorry, mm -hmm. with the infantry, I can, but these guys can go around like this. Yeah, they mount. Yeah, they're I have mounting. the same problem yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping that they can either pot uh, potentially kill this. No, I need to give them move and move, because otherwise they don't have enough room. Move, move, move. So these guys have move and move. So they get an extra three inches of their movement, so they can go around to Hirish, maybe to Hirish, and charge those guys. All right. All righty. On to the movement phase. So as Nick goes through his movement phase here, um, we'd like you to post up who to shoot next. Should Nick get the shot, or should Steven get the shot? So looking for Nick or Steven, who is going to be doing the shooting? So go ahead and comment now while Nick's moving about the board and see where we're at. It's an interesting board position for Nick right now. He really has choices to make that quake cannon can do some work so he definitely wants to get it onto the big tank in the back that steven has but i Maybe think what's going to prove great. really interesting here is how far great. he moves forward if he pushes into the dark angels they're going to clean him up in combat they can seriously hurt him so this could be a really interesting movement phase for nick okay with an 18. Th this move sucks sorry this move really sucks because it means I can't get my guys around. Like for instance, I was gonna move up with it and then move the Sentinel around it. Like he's this big giant target that I can't move my guys around. But to be fair, I only wanted to do it to get engaged in all front. Well, then you should have done it. <laughs> the, you can blame the tactical cards. You were saying how it's nice for him to change up your game plan. Edward Bryan, thank you very much. Boom, wow, that's gonna be a heck of a lot of sniper shots coming in. What a hero. Oh boy. Edward Bryan, that is hey, very generous. Does he have the fly keyword? Yes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So this Chimera is gonna move into over there okay. to uh, get the objective. I think I'm in range of the objective there, is that correct? I'll let you, I'll allow it. Excellent. My Hydra is gonna move up to have clean line of sight, I think, on you, or do I not? I can't see it from here. Mm. Or am I, am I in trouble there? No, because these two points meet. Okay. So if I was where he was, right there? No, hang on a minute. It would have had to have been the same for both of our terrain features. We'll say it goes through, because I'm able to shoot through that line, you should be able to shoot through that line. Oh, no, actually, no, you're, no, because you're closer to here. So yeah, your line is basically, <laughs> there all right so if i change this then yeah um and the guys get out and take the objective and then i move the flat cannon there yeah you, yeah, as long yeah as okay you, we'll if, do that if you touch this point you are good to go all right so these infantry will get out take the objective yes with the company no no that's that's the caster on there sorry wrong one Different. that's the that's the wrong unit that's Different. the caster yeah, on there no worries to me to you these guys are in this transport there's a unit of infantry in this transport right here yeah the caster can come up, hold the objective, hide as they, as they can. Got it. From crazy uh, light guard. Who's this gentleman with He's the sword? He's sergeant of the squad. He's sergeant of the squad. Can you like move this way more? Just oh, like less charges? Oh, I'm nice and close to me, I thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather you not charge me okay. the best I well, can. Well, what you could do is stand an inch away from the wall so I can't actually charge yes. you. Yes. You'd rather do that instead? That's cheeky. You can either give me a charge or not give me a yes, charge. Yes, not give you a charge. All right, well, yeah, we'll be do the that cheeky. Then. We're doing, see, we're doing that coaching thing Yeah, now. there you go, there's the coaching thing. So you're an inch away from the wall, so I can't actually charge you, okay? I need to enter here or here. Yeah? <laughs> Got it, all right, so to make it a bit harder for you to get to me. Yeah. And then while you're moving those guys for me, thank you very much, the camera is just gonna move up to here. Yeah. To make room for the flat cannon to move up to here. Perfect. Which now I can shoot through here, and now, now you, I can see him. Now you can see him. Awesome, yeah. great. Sentinel, unfortunately, I'm sure, now you have, do you have deep strikers or reserves? Absolutely not. We don't play those shenanigans. <laughs> All right, well then, <clears throat> Sentinel will just move up here. Yep. Uh, not in range to do all their fancy shenanigans this turn. <sighs> Sentinel will move up here. Yep. Infantry will just push forward the line. Getting ready to do something. Uh, oh, wait, these guys are taking the infantry. That's what they're doing. 
it was, remember I said that trying to advance to get on the objective of the center. Yeah, yeah. So I need a one or a two, sorry, I need a two. Yeah. You go there we five. go, we're easily on the objective. We have taken this objective away from you. The infantry will die for the greater good. Partial one, actually, Jen. We're uh, uh, the rest of them here. Should be ten guys there. Experimenting with some new stuff here. Uh, is that and ten? we do apologize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Camera angles. Ten. Uh, Owen is furious. You could working fix away those for me. That'd be very sweat very beating upon his brow. I did forget one thing in the command phase. What's that? Uh, the engine's here needs to repair and uh, put it bless bless the hull. Joel. Okay, so the engine's here in the command phase will bless the hull of Penelope, giving him a four up invulnerable. As well, we'll try to repair it, and we'll repair it for one wound. So goes to 21 wounds left. Got it. Yeah. Mandy D, thank you so much. If you don't want him to charge you, charge him first. Oh, and don't forget tank shock and grenades. Oh, I will not be forgetting tank shock and grenades. Look, look Mandy, you can stop that coaching right now, okay? Uh, yeah. He knows how much I hate a grenade. Now, I can grenade even though I char uh, advanced, can't I? Um... Because it's not about being eligible to shoot. As long as you haven't been selected to yeah. shoot. Yeah! So grenades in here might be fun. It could be. Might be fun. Good, but you can waste. Um, sorry? That's when we're done a move phase? Yeah. I'm almost done my move phase. So a bit of a traffic jam back here. So it looks like oh, sorry, we have I do need to move this guy for like this to be able to yeah, move let these guys get through. Steven yep. getting the shot. Over oh, here. I'm not going to let him shoot we'll a little shoulder again. Up. That feels a little piling on. Guys. Yeah. Uh, you know when you had the thing here and they got out in advance? Yep. They could have gotten in advance into your Chimera. That is so smart. Would you like to do that? Can I? Yeah, sure. Yes, okay, so this unit of 10. See, this is why he's a coach. Basically, this is why you should take his academy. Before this move, you yeah. would have declared, they're yeah. getting out, they're getting in. That, uh, that's brilliant. I would love to do that. Thank you. You, you can do that. Yeah. that. That will protect the unit of infantry, so this unit of infantry will grab in there, and that like, means I can like run up the board with them and try to threaten your, yeah. your objectives and stuff like that. And then these guys that have really long movement now. Not enough to get anywhere. I was really hoping, there's nowhere to get through here. So the best they can do is here. Yep, sure. And that gives me, that gives me a 12 inch charge. I like it. So maybe, you know, you yeah. never know. Who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then the Hellhound will Await its turn in the big giant traffic do it's like dream of doom. That's, that's a lot of stuff in the way. Yeah, you got a lot of models actually. I got a lot of models, yeah. I feel like I need more models. So we got I a comment for you uh, from a super chat there, Mr. Stephen Box. Whoa, what was that? Chat for the oh, win. Oh, and Edward Bryan, thank you so much. Oh, Edward, thank from you. From Wim thank Dunker, you. Uh, apparently, he wants you to bring the most handsome man with 40 and 40K with you next time. Sorry, what was that? Nick has been awesome with his town. No, sorry, what was he, that? He wants me to bring Jake. <laughs> we can't bring Jake here. It'd just be chaos. <laughs> it would be an absolute nightmare. Edward Bryan, woo! Thank Edward you. Bryan, thank you so much. How many shots does that make us? Oh, we're like, up there. I don't think that's accurate, the number five. We got seven. We have seven now. Okay, but here, come, so here's the cool part. Um, it was overwhelmingly voted that Steven gets the next shot. Oh. But I think at this point, as soon as you're done your movement phase, Steven gets two shots. Oh. And Nick, you're going to get one. But I'm going to limit Steven from shooting Lord Solar more than once. OK. I, I think it might be a decent rule with this many sh shots coming in that, that, yeah, you can't target the same. You got to go around a bit, spread, out, spread around the shots. Otherwise, we're going to focus fire down some of these characters and vehicles. That'd be really bad. I'll allow it. OK, cool. Yeah. Can I just give a shout out to Little People Painter? Yeah. She painted my, all of the uh, Dark Angels. Oh, well, well done. Those look so beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. Yeah, the Azrael, the Inner Circle. I converted them. She painted them. We're like a dream team of converting and painting. So, yeah. Yeah. Little People you want you, Painter, you want to come paint some of our? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring her bring Billy her next time rather, rather, than, rather okay. than Jake. It'll be way easier. Yeah. <laughs> right, OK. So, um, I need to shoot some stuff. Well, it's my, to be, to be clear, to be oh. everyone understand what's going, it's my shooting phase, but because of the chat interaction, which we allow for to have some fun, to let you guys do some stuff, yeah. this cool sniper that, that Tac loves very much, his favorite sniper in the world, yeah. uh, gets a spire because of the chat. So who's, who's, this, your target? who's this guy here? He's part of the squad on Lord Solar. Ah, right. Tech, you know, it has precision, that's why you can choose It's got Lord precision, Solar. yeah, I can choose my targets. Um, any characters over here? Yep, the company commander there. All right, let's have a little pop on him then. Yeah. Well, that's a hit. That is a hit. That's, that's a wound. A wound. Uh, he's a five up, I believe it is. No, it goes right through. Yeah, he's dead. He can't stop it. Oh. 
He's only got I mean, three wounds. My damage rolls haven't been He's great dead. this game. He's dead. Yeah, I tried to fake that. That sucks you. because the that's the Cadian Castellan. And he was giving that whole unit sustained hits. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my. That's okay. too bad. Now. Bye. Thank you, chat. Appreciate so, it. Are we saying I'm allowed to shoot Lord Solar once? <laughs> just really just once. Just per once. sniper activation. We'll let the chat decide while you do a shoot. <gasps> okay. So Nick's down like it's a shoot, so we'll let chat decide well, what's going to shoot. Well, I'm going to continue shoot, on. Well, and Nick off. gets to shoot something as well. Got a pretty bike. I'm going to shoot the, the pretty bike over here. Yeah. Lord Salmon on, on bike there. This time I hit. Oh. And this time I wounded. Uh, what's... Yeah, I'm toughness five. You're, that's strength seven, right? Four pin burn! Oh my, got it. Lost it. Right, um, what do people want? What, what do we want? We want... I think we're just going back and forth right now. How right. many shots ch ch do you want us to do? <laughs> Tack doesn't like me saying that he loves that miniature, so he's brought over a different sniper. Right, we're gonna go for this engine sir. Oh, don't, Instead, please. yeah, I don't want to kill Lord no, Solo don't, please. just yet. Five up and horrible. Don't get it. You've killed him. But another one damage. All, My characters only have three wounds. But I am trying to fail for you here. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> it's the chat. All right, nice. the engine seer has been defeated. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm just casual 100 points, lead from army. No worries. Mm, sounds like a... <laughs> so just to be clear, yeah, Steven's to managed go. to kill two of your characters, Nick. Yep. And you haven't killed any of his characters? Yep. Yeah, How many shots do we have at present? There is a problem, though, because I may draw assassinate and I won't have any characters to kill. I've got more. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I think uh, we're going to put a poll up in chat to see if we can't even this up here, Nick. we got some help for you coming, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Do we do it now? No, not quite yet. Not oh. quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, but can I do my shooting phase now? Please go ahead and shoot the Dark Angels. Okay. Let's just see how this shooting phase goes first, yeah? Jason, yeah. Before we get a little bit too aggressive with that those sounds extra fine. sniper shots. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. Um... You know what, let's do Penelope first, cool. the big Bane Sword. Yep. It's a lot of fun, and yep. if I'm going to spend command points, it's going to be on her. Yeah. All the big giant Quake Cannon, the yep. last cannons, all going into the vehicle I can see. Why not? It's fun. I'm obviously, shooting out of combat, minus one hit, but I got to take aim, so I got the back. Yeah, plus yeah. one, plus one, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All of the Heavy Bolters and the Flamers going into the unit in base contact. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. 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 So, Flamers into the, the unit, the Infiltrators. Yeah. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dice. Yep. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Minus 1, yeah? So yeah, minus 1. 4 ups. I failed 2. I get a 6 plus feel no pain. <laughs> I take a both. All right. All right. All is up, folks. Kill one. Away. Yeah, yeah, one will be dead. Got one of them. Then the twin heavy bolter uh, hits twice. Uh, no wounds. Okay. Wow, it's Twin Link, though. Uh, um, all those flamers, they're Twin Linked. So you need... Uh, to, yeah. Do you need to roll an extra... You failed with six, right? Yeah. So an extra... Yeah, because you had 13. I rolled seven saves. So that is... Three more. Three more? Okay. Minus one. No worries. Oh! Is that's... It? that. You know what this? This is not a Steve, Steve Bob cars. That's a Nick special. That's a Nick special. I don't know, I started calling that. Because okay. if you got the boxcar thing, I wanted yeah. it to be even more special. You are very special. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I still call it a Steven Bobcar every, still, every time it happens. Oh, I appreciate it. In that. honor of you. Yeah. Even when you're you. not here. Oh, it means a lot. <laughs> well, that was, that sucked. <laughs> that really sucked, man. <laughs> but don't forget your big cannon. Yes, big giant cannon. Yeah, let's not forget that one. No, yeah. no, I'm never forgetting this the, one. The Penelope is here for a reason. I'm actually going to wait till last, because if it kills it, not that there's anything around it, but it makes it explode on a three-up. Right. So I'm gonna fire the last cannons first. Right. Because that's to kill it with that vehicle. Some of you are pointing so hit out twice. that the sure. engine seer actually and has And then wounded twice, I believe. Your cheap weight. What's your taste? It is a, a, a fun mechanic. Oh, once, uh, we're not yeah. taking it too seriously. AP? Oh, straight, Don't worry. last cannons are straight uh, 12. We're gonna even up for Nick Two here, so it'll be all right. Two wounds are minus three. Yeah, yeah. Um, AP three, you don't ignore cover, do you? Not with this gun. No. The next gun will. So on a five up save. Oh, one goes through. There you go, D6 plus one damage. Seven damage. You're joking. Look at that. I've been Boom. Rolling. I was rolling ones. You've yeah. been rolling sevens. Boom. This doesn't seem very fair. And then the big giant quake cannon. The yes. quake cannon is D6 plus six shots. It's quite. I rolled six. Attack. <laughs> I've got a problem with two, Nick. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? That was the new dice, the new anniversary dice. They're going to be good when they come out. Mm, you sound broken. Take them out. This is strength 16. <laughs> what are you hitting on? 
Uh, hitting on fours. Right. Oh, I dropped quite a few. Well, it's so, half, roughly half. Right. I took seven, right? Uh, yeah, I've got nine left. Because 16, nine left. 16 minus seven is nine. Ooh. Ooh. Only four at MP. minus four. Ignoring cover. Well, no save then. That's fun. Okay, each one does four damage. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh. You explode on a three up! Not that there's anybody in range. I did. Yeah, big Boom. explode. Kaboom! <laughs> Sorry? What did you say, Tack? It keeps rolling sixes, Tack. I did. I rolled a lot of sixes just now. It was a lot of fun. It's blown up now, Tack! It's gone! Boom, 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 boom. Can I report into HR? Excellent. Excellent. I feel yourself officially reported, okay? <laughs> JT, what do you feel? How do you think about that? I think that that was a heck of an explosion. Uh, thank you very much, Atreos, for the calming voice, the ASMR. Welcome to 40K in 40 Minutes with your host, JT, Stephen, and Nick. Sorry. We'll be. Rolling into Did the any next charge die? phase in a moment. So no. stay with us. And that was fine. Cool. Yeah, I thought I'd roll it while you weren't looking yeah. so I could cheat. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So no guys died coming out of the vehicle. Yeah. Now the important one is I need to try to kill Samuel there. Sure. Uh, I don't have enough shots to do it. Okay. So I will shot, shoot a flat cannon at that unit. I do I do get the rerolls because of you have a fly unit in there. Yeah. Which is nice. So, the Hydra I mean, you've killed Black Cannon. 250 points in my army now. Yeah, that was nice. And I've that was nice to do. I've got no way to kill him for that. Hunter killing him itself. One sure. shot, hitting on fours. That is a miss, but his ability is reroll hit roll because you have a unit in there that can fly. That's a miss. I missed. All right. Uh, the Flat Cannon has four shots, hitting on fours. Rerolling misses because you fly. Through four hits. Mm -hmm. Strength nine. Leave on threes. Terrible, terrible. Just one at minus, minus one. One at minus one. Ignoring cover? Uh, it does not ignore cover. So three up, I'm good. Sorry, that was my wound roll? I have anti-fly two. It's actually all three of those hit wounded. Yeah? Yeah. Did you roll a one? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll give it to you. One goes through. Okay, it does three damage. Whoa, That's what no, I call some sports right back. folks. Thank you to, see if I get the name right here. Bite. Arias, we appreciate the donation and we appreciate the father-son time even more. As a father of a 17-year-old and Nick has got three boys, I we do. love 40K and we love being able to bring our kids into it. Um, so yes, we, we, we too love the father-son time that the game brings and we're glad that you guys get to enjoy it together. Well, I'm feeling pretty smug about yourself now, aren't you? After that. Killed yeah. one bike? Yeah. Yeah, with the anti-fly and you killed one on wheels. Well, now we're gonna grenade these guys. Brilliant. One command point. Going down to one to try to grenade these Marines here. Go on then. Ba -ba boom! Pax looking at me from the corner and I'm feeling a little worried about it. Two mortal wounds go through. What'd I do? I got him on the roof. What's going on? Oh yeah. What's going on over there? Um, like them, you know. Two might, mortal wounds. Might be like a little pussy cat. You have ready. a save against that? Mm, yeah, sticks up. Yeah. Is this a Dark Angel thing? Is it a target thing that has a wave against moral wounds? No, it's an infiltrator thing. I didn't know they had that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I will cool, keep cool. going so as one. long yep. as you guys awesome. want to keep hearing. Um, so apparently there might be some, you know, feline pussycat dolls rocking up in case I need reinforcements, apparently. Pussycat dolls? Yeah, the lion. Oh, okay. I, I definitely would not call the lion a pussycat. Wow. <laughs> He's nice and tame. This whole chimera into this unit right here. Sure. Uh, heavy flamer. Hits five times. That's quite nice. Take five wounds. Great. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Minus one. I failed all four. Boom! That's what I like. Take a look at the super chat there, Stephen. Yeah. Look at David there. Oh, thank you so much, David. I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. And uh, on that note, I've just lost the model. So, uh, David, you've made me feel a lot better about it. Thank you. Welcome <laughs> to the Academy. I want to see you at events soon with the uh, fresh VT repping the team. Multi-laser hits you once. Yep. Wounds you once. Yep. No AP. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's, I lost three wounds. Sorry. Uh, no AP. No AP. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. And then the Laz gun array, which is six shots, and then another six shots at this range. Right. Can you stop shooting me now? Nope. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Okay. 
Uh, three, four shots. Yeah. Which become two wounds. No AP. Two wounds, no AP. Two saves. All right. And then this whole unit is going to fire into them as well. Do we get ice cream out? Yes, we should get ice cream after like this. Tradition, right? Actually, what we do need to be have everyone aware, after this game, there is actually a second game. We are doing a double feature today, two live streams. The first one, this one right here, we're playing. Yeah. And then next uh, is actually a very special game for our uh, membership, for our YouTube membership and uh, Patreon membership. For all, so for all those who just got gifted a membership, you can go watch that. Yeah. That is going to be you playing the World Eaters. Oh, I'm playing the World Eaters. Yeah. Yes. Versus. Versus JT. <laughs> they really work me hard when I come here, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm going to be facing, uh, I've got a Sky Splinter Assault Force uh, that I'm going to be throwing into some world leaders. I'm predicting combat on the first turn. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, yes. Auto cannon into here. Uh, I moved, but I think they still hit on fours. But what? let me. They're heavy. I might be wrong on that. I need to double check that. Wally. And of course, my app is now not working. Okay, body check. Uh, any questions from the chat? Um, there's so many reasons why they would fight. Well, actually, I heard that they've there's some heresy going on, and we've sent the Dark Angels in for a little bit of a cheeky excursion to, you know, just find nope. out what's going on. Doesn't it? Well, if they're fully fallen, or if they're hunting the fallen, wouldn't exactly. that mean that the man no, leading the hunt might show up? <laughs> Ooh, look at all those hits from the Guardsman Lads Cannons. Lord Solar has fallen. I knew he was a traitor, just look at him. Oh, this is Lord Cosine. Mm, exactly. Uh, strength three, so on fives. Yeah, mate. Three. Three wounds from Lads Guns. No problem. I failed one, though. Killed the one guy. Yep. I feel no pain. I felt it. How do you feel pain for the Lads Guns? I mean, come on, they're just like nothing, yeah. right? Gets the eye lens. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like a laser pen. Ow, my eye. <laughs> Take some man, man down. What? I got laser it's nice pen. to see elderly play, people playing a game. Who's this? Who's, who's calling us elderly? Right, I vote ban. Ban yeah, that person. Ban, ban them. I think we have uh, administrative powers over there. Can you just like press ban? Ban. Yeah, there we go. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Um, that is all my shooting. Nothing else has line of sight to anything else. Well, you do. Oh, oh sorry, I have earth shakers. You've got earth shakers. Why am I forgetting earth shakers? I know. And actually, that is the perfect unit to target them against because okay. it'll reduce their speed. Oh, it would actually. Yeah, yeah. Because of suppression. Excellent. So I look forward to that. The first one will take aim, d6 shots, plus one, I believe it is. So that'll be three shots, plus blast, another one. Roll them both together. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, one, and then four, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. So normally, hitting on fives, they're heavy, so they go to. Fours gave take aim, went to threes, but now they're shooting out of line of sight. So it goes back to fours. With right. me? No. No? What's going on? They have a ballistic of a five up. Yeah. They're heavy, so they didn't move. Ah, they've got the heavy keyword. The heavy keyword. Oh, that's a good word. Keyword to have on indirect. Yeah. But then indirect, of course. So back to fours. Go on. Uh, a few fours here. But I did hit you, so now you are suppressed. Great. So you're going to get minus, I believe it's two to your movement advance and charge. Yeah, it's a really fun rule. And that is one, two, three wounds on you. AP? Strength eight. You're not T4, you're T5. Yeah, yeah, I'm T5, mate. Yeah, so three wounds, and I believe it's AP one. That's what it used to be. And now i got to find you, it again. Do you ignore cover? I don't think I ignore cover. Right, so I'm on a three up then. Uh, I rolled all fours. Nice. Probably fine, right? I think you're fine. You, yeah. Um... Sorry, this is not my main army. It's minus two. Sorry, I apologize. Huh? It's minus two. Big, not ignores cover, so I'm still okay on a four up. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. All right. So that concludes the shoot phase. Snipering time. Yes, JT, your hand up. Oh, are we doing more snipers? Oh my goodness, we have five snipers. Is there really only five? I feel like we have like Oh, no, 20. no, we're about to use two sniper shots. But how many sniper shots are queued up? It says five uh, on, I the, think on the screen. Is it five or is it six? I think it's five. It yeah. Five. Okay, cool. That's, That's a five. lot. But we're about to drop down to three because lethals. Chad has voted. You are correct. Those were lethals. But you're, you're correct. I forgot that they stood still. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. You can't change the past. All I right. made a mistake. I forgot the lethals, but I will remember it next time. Thank you very much, Chad. 
chat has voted and has decided on account of Steven picking up two of Nick's characters right away that Nick is allowed to fire for the cost of two sniper shots, the shield breaker version no of the assassin. Way. However, to caveat this so that Steven doesn't lose another clutch part of his army after that brutal shooting face from Nick, he cannot shoot at anything he's already shot at. That's fair. I think, so you can shield break something you have not shot at yet. Can, can we just have that rule going forward? I like that no, rule. No, we cannot. You. I don't want to shoot Lord Solar anymore. It's all about balance. So how many, I'm Thanos in the corner here. How many do I get? You get one first. shot. One shot. So I, if you miss, it's going to be even funnier. So is this a, is this an ancient here? That is, a, that is my captain. I'm going to shoot him. I hit on a two still? There is also a lieutenant. No, I don't want to kill a lieutenant. That's a hit. Then it was so... Then him. Strike oh. seven. Okay. Flex roll. Ready for the... I can't, I can't do it as good as you. It's just like, please roll a one. <laughs> roll a regular dice. It's a three. Okay, so what's the situation now? So it's a three, so it wounds, wounds, it wounds. but it's D, that. D3 plus three. So it's just, oh, he doesn't get a save. He doesn't get a save. Oh, oh. I thought you had to roll the six to get it. Oh. But a shield breaker? No, a shield breaker ignores so all So the saves. Vindicator Assassin has a special rule that the first time it does it, ah. I, it's either the first time or once per game. You once use per a shield game. Breaker. I thought we still have roll a six to trigger it. Um, normally, because okay. Devastating was on a six, yeah. Right, okay. So what's the damage? D3 plus three. What? Five. It can't be. So I'd take a shield. Very important. <laughs> I, I think we'll give him the inbuilt save on that one. <laughs> I might oh, no, have a no, it's okay. I it's, have a, hang on, a... I have a shield. I've got six wounds, I've got a wound left. Oh, he's got a wound left. Oh, good. See, I knew that. I always take a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh, oh so, so the thing is now, the sniper can't target him anymore. No, that's fair, yeah. that's fair. And we're down to three shots, and don't worry, Steven, uh, your, your comeuppance is coming. We're gonna pick a target for you to shoot at. Right now or later? Oh no, we'll, get, we'll let Nick go through the next turn. We'll do the end of the turn. Okay, well that finishes my turn. I've got, oh no, that does not finish my turn. I'm gonna make this amazing charge from these guard, these uh, horses. So I gotta get a 12 or 11. I picked up the model. I removed him, you killed one. You did. Sorry. I'm outside a 12. How dare you? Sorry. How dare you? I thought that might, you know. I'm gonna swarm with guardsmen, why not? Excellent. So all these guardsmen are gonna charge. Go for it. Those infantry. I think you made it. Yeah, I made it. Oh, stupid. Dark angels. Sneaking in. Coming on in. So this big group of guardsmen are just gonna pile in here. Try to kill them all. Right, I'm gonna need to drink some water, so apologies if this sounds like some... Well, he's killed two of them already. I have a commissar and Lord Solar. It would suck to kill all my characters. Mm -hmm. It would suck to kill all my characters. There's other things you can shoot at. I, I killed the rubbishy ones. That's true. Killed the rubbishy ones. You did not kill the rubbishy ones, and you almost killed Lord Solar. Right. To be fair, I've been rolling well on, I've been nope. doing good on damage. I have been rolling one, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Mm. All right, let's fight. Let's fight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the sergeant with his our sword. sword. Yes. One sword. Ooh, yes. That's a wound. Oh, AP. I think it's minus two. I'm good. Hey, it doesn't matter. And the rest of the guys with their regular attacks is like, bop, 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 bop. It's you three times. Excellent. Hey, they're better than Tau Fire Warriors. And when's you done? Anything's better than a Tau Fire Warrior. Yeah, Sorry. Um, that was, well, and no, nothing happened? Nope. Right, nothing. okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> right, here we go, mate. I'm Into gonna... the guardsman? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Absolutely. You something else to fight. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Oh, very nice. Uh, two, four, six, please. Six saves. No is AP on this, though. Uh, saves three. Oh, You've killed three. Sabian. You've killed three. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Somebody's asked me, uh, Kip Sabian. Kip is an absolute legend. <coughs> uh, if you don't if you don't follow Kip, you probably should on Instagram. He's a hey, Kip. he's a fantastic wrestler. Okay, cool. Yeah, very, very good. Um, and Kip's become a really good friend. So long time viewer. <laughs> first time he's a first time super chat. A question for Steve. How do you balance being a hench lad and keep up as a tactical master? Explain yourself. Well, you know, I've just got sanguineous blood, you know, runs through the veins. Yeah. And uh, just does all does it all. That's why sanguineous is 
for me, my favorite. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's probably a mixture of training, saying your prayers, and eating your vitamins, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> it's the it could, Hulk Hogan I mean, it moment. Have, Thanks. It, it could have something to go to the gym, eating some protein, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Having some discipline, taking tack to the gym with me tonight. <sighs> yep. Okay, so Penelope tries to hit you. Hits you three times. Yep. Runs into you, the tank runs into you, wounds you three times. Do, do, do. I'm okay. These Marines are going to be annoying. Yep. The fact that they live is very frustrating. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> well, that is ends my turn. Okay. I did secure No Man's Land. I've got this objective. I've got that objective. You did. And I did not get assassination because this guy's still alive and mm. that guy's still alive. So, to be honest, your characters are super tough. So I gave you the option to kill a lieutenant. You're like, I don't want to kill the lieutenant, but he's got I couldn't see the lieutenant. You could have killed him with the assassin and got assassinated. I don't know if that counts. I didn't kill it. The assassin did. Ah. Uh, Ooh. He says it can't. So, well, I'm, hindsight the is 2020. Turn counts, Regardless, yeah. I'm going to ditch assassination ditch for a free it. command. No, I can't get a free command point. Because you've already had one. Because I've already got one. Yeah, true. Uh, so, secure one for five points. Like, do you want a, Do you want the card you know or the card you don't? <sighs> that is the question. To be honest, assassination is really hard against your army. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not going to give me easy assassination points. You're not just going to give that up to me. Well, I'm not going to try, no. I'm going to keep it. He's kept it. I've kept it. So I'm gonna hold on to it for another turn. Yeah. Uh, mainly because this is one wound here. Correct. And at the very least, what that does yeah. is it makes you have to make decisions. Right. Is the sniper actually here? No. Or is he like just He's anywhere? ethereal. Yeah. He, he can see anything on the board. Huh. He's floating in a black hawk above. Wow. Okay. Gonna give a little break and a, and a rundown. So as we head into the second turn, we have a score of eight to five in favor of Mr. Steven Box. We are command points, I believe, sitting at one each at present. Uh, interesting game in the midboard right now. The guard are, are pushing a little bit more forward than I expected, but this this could be an interesting second turn. Steven's got a sniper shot on deck, and as chat has voted, it looks like uh, we're going to be targeting one of Nick's tanks. So we're going to do that as uh, soon as Steven finishes his command phase. Uh, but that takes us into our next turn. Gentlemen, are you ready for your next round? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Round two, fight! Uh, so I go up the CP. Unfortunately, Azrael is now in the Land Raider, so he's no longer going to be giving me that benefit unless it says if he's in your army rather than on the battlefield. This is a very important distinction. While I look that up, I also get a command point going up to two. So each he, of us have two command points. He's on the battlefield, but he's not actually touching it, so he doesn't get the CP. Got it. Yeah. Yes? Super chats. Tommy, thank you very much. I want to thank you for all helping get me back into 40k after a 15-year absence. Wow. Who wants to play right. Dark Angels? Oh. Always fun. Gotta love it when other people watch. Okay. Dig it, Dig it like Sugar Smacks, baby. I need to draw two cards. New secondaries. Behind enemy lines. I like it. You've already got it. Pretty much, yeah. Well, he, to be honest, he was on the line, so you don't, you're not holding within currently. Well, maybe you are. Oh, I must be, right? Yeah, you must, must be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So just capture enemy outpost. It's right there. That's always fun. Right, okay. Um, we're probably not going to get that one. To be honest, this is one of the reasons I charged in. Yeah. Worried about you coming around and trying to capture my outpost. Mm, now I've got a decision to make. Do I roll the dice here and risk not getting five points on primary? Oh, because this guy might be battle shocked. Exactly. Um, or do I just spend a command point, one of my precious resources, to guarantee five points? And as we say, trade CP for B VP. I yeah. messed it up. I messed it up. You trade your CPs for VPs. OK, there we go. So that's so, what I'm going to do. So smooth. Uh, play it safe. So and I'll use that now to get me 10 points on primary, please. OK. Uh, I'll keep capture enemy outpost, because I'll burn it at the end of the turn, and that'll get me a CP, because I didn't get Azrael's. All right. Um, and I have spent a command point on that unit, so I want some sort of dice roll. I might get it back. <laughs> Or a random dice roll. Have a look. It might actually be okay. Uh, I've never used that ability before, but there we go. Because I've never ever spent a stratagem on them. So, Stephen, is that the end of your command phase? Uh, well, I need to do Oath of Moment and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, Once you've done Oath of Moment and finished your command phase, you get to shoot one of Nick's tanks. Ooh. And we're going to even make it, just for fun, a shield breaker shot because it's going into a tank. Ooh. I mean, it is a strength seven shot, so it might be hard to wound. But if you get it, oh boy. Which tank would you like to hit? I needed a five. Five. Okay, so then you get their three CP. How many wounds uh, damage can I do? Uh, D3, D3 plus, plus three. three. 
So or if it critically wounds, toughness 16. it can keep rolling. Wounds? Uh, toughness. Uh, I want to say eight, but it could be different. Earthshakers are toughness to seven. And wounds? Wound six. So possibly kill him. All right, let's try and kill an Earthshaker. That sounds like a good save. So two to hit, four to wound. Oh, it's a one. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you, thank you. OK, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. no silly roll, anyway. Um, so, uh, right. These foam dice for CP have been brilliant. I bought them from the dollar store for like two bucks. And Hang they... on a minute, you bought them from the dollar store for two bucks? Well, our exchange rate is way worse than yours. So our dollar value is worth a lot less. So there is no dollar store that just costs a dollar anymore. The cheapest you can get is a dollar fifty. Then with tax, around two bucks. I feel like I should change the name. Misleading. Yeah, they, they actually most of them have. They all lots of them call, call themselves a dollar twenty-five scores oh, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. You okay with that, JT? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> right, don't want to kill. <laughs> They're saying you should have flex rolled it. Oh, okay then. You're right. I should have. <laughs> Would have got the CP. So what are you gonna do? Uh, right. Well, I need to oath something, but you've got nothing really good and juicy. So you can try to kill the tank again. I could do. Yeah. Come out and try to kill the tank again. Do it. Just get piloting in the tank. Just keep charging him with more units. We will go for the assault doctor in because that is always a good time. Don't forget, folks, every $50 in not just memberships, but donations, mm. we're so going to be firing that sniper and tearing apart so Steven and Nick's armies because it's just sort of fun. Right now, I think chat's actually got the most kills. <laughs> Yeah, chat has got more kills than anybody else. Yeah, yeah, chat currently is winning on kills. I mean, we always love when chat wins wins the games. That was the best way to happen. Bye, guys. Nice knowing you. Mm. Mm. Ba 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 ba. This is interesting. Uh, I'm wondering who's going to try charging. Probably charging those infantry in the middle. But he could try a long charge with a flat cannon, for instance. It's a really this interesting... is frustrating. The fact these guys are alive, it means my tank can't move, which means it's stuck there for another turn. How my LG unit will advance. Yeah, Three. Steven's really being aggressive and trying to pin Nick in the corner here, and I, I think it's yeah, a that good play. That unit needs to die. No. Nick can't fight in combat very well at all, so using his And to be clear, you still have sets. two units in this Land Raider. Yes. Yeah, two big units, a unit of Blade Guard and something else. Yeah. Right. Using those power armor assets to, to really push Nick into a corner is not a bad <laughs> idea at all. Um, I mean, the vehicles can shoot out of combat, but let's go four, going to go five. Uh, I'd take that trade, because three-up armor is a thing. All right, so to be clear for chat, this tank has a ton of guys still left in it. You've got Blade Guard veterans, you've got another unit of... What was that, Circle, or what are they called? The new unit? In a, uh, Inner Circle Champions. Inner Circle Champions. Those are scary. Yeah, they... Yeah, come on, come on. Come on, don't be scared. Ideally... Um, in order Can I say how much of a pleasure it has been to have you in the studio and to play games with you this week? Oh, mate. It's been awesome. We played some sick games. We played uh, a Tau versus... What did you play again? You played... Tau versus World Eaters. And then yesterday... Oh, uh, no, no, not yesterday. The day before, Yeah. we played a dream game. We played the Siege of Helm's Deep from Lord of the Rings. We did. Massive, massive game. Played all day. Went late into the night. My voice is still hoarse from it. Yeah. I woke up at five in the morning that day and went about yep. one a.m. So yeah, quite a long, quite a long day that one. <laughs> What's the audio speaking? Is there someone talking in the background? They're not knowing who you are. If you don't know who that voice is, that is the voice of JT, uh, often known as the voice of Forty K in Forty Minutes. He is uh, often our commentator for those Forty K in Forty Minutes. Uh, JT, say hi. Hello. And I don't know why, but JT has chosen to speak in this very soft. 
creepy well, if voice? I'm, if I'm it. super loud, um, oftentimes uh, I'm interjecting between when you guys are talking, and then it would just blow everybody's ears out. So, um, but if I'm quiet, it gives it a very golf kind of vibe to it. And uh, so far, uh, I'm feeling very much like I'm greenside and calling somebody shots. That said, we definitely have some sniper shots on deck still, folks. So. Uh, don't worry, uh, we're going to get to them, but again, for all of the Super Chats that come in, uh, and for even the gifted memberships, we're tracking that too. Uh, the goal here is we are primarily fan-funded, and because of that, it's you guys that keep us doing what we're doing. And if you like what we do, we really love it when you share it, when you like it, and if you can show your support, we greatly do appreciate it. Um, it helps us keep the lights on, it helps keep Owen fed, because that guy eats like crazy, I'm telling you. Uh, I kid, I kid. He's like a he's like a rail. This guy. I wish I was that skinny. All right. So he just rolled a six on his advance with his blade guards. Yep. These guys look awesome, by the way. These are the inner circle companions. These games will be up on YouTube after. Absolutely. This is uh, this is our live stream. Those of you who did just get uh, gifted memberships, keep in mind there is a membership only game for our patron members and our YouTube members. Are going to be after this. We're going to take a short break, have some to eat. Come back, and Steven's going to bring his world leaders to face my Drukari. It could be, uh, no matter what happens in that game, it will be bloody, because those are two armies that like to be in combat. Meryl SAO, thank you very much. The guards are being corrupted by a Fallen. Get them, Steven. Love watching both your channel. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I think the Fallen is, uh, sure, let's call it Lord Solar. Lord Solar is Fallen. And Unforgiven. And Unredeemed. Mm. Apparently what is Metallica happening fan. here? What is all this stuff? Well, I'm just getting out. I'm advancing and I'm charging. Because you can advance and charge with all these guys? Yep. This is a bad day to be a guardsman. It's a bad day to be a guardsman. But that should be a good song. Uh, right, so unfortunately I have to put a redeemer on my home objective. Not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not amazing. I mean, just put him here. I could do that, actually. Yeah. It does move 12, to be fair. That gets me... Uh, and no, I can't. No. Uh, no. Six. Right. Three inches back. Wim Dunker, yes, that the next game, the, the, the live stream game that is for our YouTube and Patreon members, that will be on demand. All of our live stream games will always be on demand, and you can watch it later if you want to. Within three, within 12. Right, okay, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to do some shooting. Maros, yes, 100%. I want to try all in the crude. I really, really want to try an all crude army. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Of sight. Oh. <laughs> so many guys. So I think I may, may have made some mistakes pushing up so hard. Uh, well, you know, we'll find out. <laughs> we shall see. Right, well, we're going to start off with the easy things, okay, because that's what you should do. Um, re the Redeemer is going to put all of its flame shots into this unit here because it is the only thing it can target in terms of its flamers. Then the Multi Melter is going to go into this beautiful vehicle and also the Assault Cannon will also go into there as well, okay? Yep. Right. Yep. <laughs> and the Hunter Killer Missile will also go into there. Yeah, fair enough. Because if not, <laughs> use it now. Right, so the 2D6 Flamestorm Cannons is a nice rounded 10 number. Uh, 5, 10, on strength, 6. Strength 6? Oh, uh, hang on, bear with. What, what, what? What's I going forgot, on? I forgot to move that unit. Did you want to move them? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. I'll just resolve this quickly and I'm, I want to get them out of the way. You're just going to fall back, yeah, basically, yeah. 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 So, Two, four, six, eight, nine, please. This is on the guardsman? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, AP2. These guardsmen yeah. here? Yeah. AP2? Two? two damage. Those are through. Okay, cool. Sorry. Three, one, three, two, six, three, four. Nine. Nine. Yeah, there's one guy left. Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this unit here, I want to fall back through your unit, so I have to roll some dice here. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I lose a model. You lose one from Desperate Escape? Yeah. And where are you going? Uh, just basically uh, behind there, please. Trying uh, to take... On the objective. Yeah. On the objective with three guys? Yep, just to be super annoying for you. Yeah, I mean, I still have the objective, but... You do, yeah. It is uh, very annoying. They're, so they're in this building. I'm going to put this guy on top, just so you can see a bit in the camera there. But he's got three guys holding the objective. I have a bunch of guys. I control the objective, but it's still annoying. So, multi-melter here. Two shots. One hit. 
Uh, one wound, AP4. AP4. Ooh, do I get any cover from that shot? You absolutely will get cover, yeah. Okay, so I think I have a three up. So it goes with two, so six. Nope. Okay, damage is four, five. Five, five of my 11 wounds, so I have six wounds remaining. Hunter Killer hits. Hunter Killer does not wound. Uh, two, four. Is it Thank you, VT Bridge. Six. Yes, Steven did just roll a six for advance. Miracles absolutely do happen on play on. They could. Uh, twin Assault Cannon Time. Six shots. Uh, they miss. Looking for some sixes to wound here. Uh, did I roll any? Nope. Toughness? Of the Urshanger? Yeah. Nine. Oh, so a five wheel wound. Uh, no, just one wound, please. No AP? AP, nothing. Oh, it goes through! Cool, cool, cool. One wound? Yep. And Down then, to four, five wounds remaining. Yeah, and then the storm bolts are at it. Thank you, Hug Grand Sex. Appreciate it. Uh, no wounds, cool. Good. Oh, um... That was this that just fired? Yep. Yeah. Does Samael give me f advance? Why well, is one of the... From a uh, member shoot and a clever charge. Excellent. Good, luck. Good work, Sammy. So, uh, Sammy and his unit of Black Knights... Won't be able to see that. So Samael is going to have to put his just plasma cannon kind of into the one it's guy? Like no. Manta, actually. To yeah, this guy? No. Like yeah, just fire. use it on this guy. No. You want to charge? Don't tempt me, Frodo. You, you, um, you did the exact amount of wounds you wanted to get the extra movement, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So over here, he's going to shoot that Chimera, and then the other bikes are going to shoot this thing, OK? So uh, the Hydra. The Hydra, yeah. So Samael, at that, um, it is a total of. So did you say there's a plasma pistol? Plasma cannon. Oh, and the plasma pistol. That's a long plasma pistol. Like, it's, it's underslung. D3 shots. Three shots from Sammy. Hits on twos. Two hits. Uh, I'm strength eight. Chimera is toughest nine. Okay, nothing then. Good. Well done, everybody. Uh, so Guard tanks. Bah ha ha. <laughs> Ravenwing Black Knights. Uh, I don't feel like supercharging. I feel like that's a, a toughness on this. Nine. I tapped nine, yeah. Okay, so overcharging doesn't really help me, so that I'm just going to lose models, potentially. But let's not do that. Um, we are 18. Anybody within nine? No. So we're just into the shooting phases. Two shots each. One, two, three, As a reminder, folks, we've four, got four sniper five. chats. Four uh, sniper shots left, for... so we're going to have a couple coming up here pretty quick. Uh, but get in your votes for who we should shoot at, because it's always fun to threes. hear what you think we should target. Okay, cool. <laughs> Looking for fives. Uh, that is three saves, please, at AP2, one damage. AP2 on the flat cannon? Yep. Uh, so you've got three, four, uh, cover? Uh, you'll get cover from there, yeah. Okay, so then one, just two, one. three, four. So, yeah, one goes through. How much oh, damage? Just one. All right, down to four wounds remaining on the Hydra flat cannon. Cool, cool, cool. And Chris, in the chat, I do agree with you. Steven does make this game look effortless and simple, and I'm already seeing how he has... Positioned everything to destroy me. Like, it is like playing a master. It really is. <laughs> no, he's too kind. <laughs> so, uh, this is why he has an academy and I don't. Um, I, you know, I spend a lot of time looking at, you know, rules of the game. And the academy really focuses on the fundamentals of the game. So whatever faction you play, it doesn't matter because we want you to get excited to, you know, when your codex comes out, go, oh, I can see all the tools. They know exactly yeah. what to do with all these different rules and everything else. So um, now it's time for this unit of Sternguard to shoot. Oh, steady. At this unit here of, uh, hmm. those are rough riders. Yeah, they uh, are T4. Yeah, two wins each. Yeah, I'm gonna put all their shots into here. The rough riders. Yeah. Um, because I remember them being quite nasty actually. Aren't they, they can be. I, they're, they're smaller units. Yeah, but they can be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put the two heavy bolters into them. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put all the other shots into this hydra. You really want to take them down? I really do. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what we're gonna do here then? This is a bit. This is a bit annoying because I've got loads of different sort of shots going on. Uh, they should all be positions. Um, oh no, hang on. All but two are within 12 inches, so it's kind of rapid annoying. fire. Yeah, one, yeah. two. I should have put the heavy bolts at the back. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven guys with the combi weapons. Uh, yep, yeah, there'll be eight guys with the combi weapons. And then I've got to take two shots out, so that's that. Okay, cool. So this is into this, okay? Uh, now I get sustained and lethal because of the enhancement that I have. So, because I've got the lieutenant, he gives me lethal and also sustain. So my misses now go back in. And then um, we are looking for here sixes of devastating wounds. Uh, that is one, two, three devastating wounds so far. Cool. And you owe me three saves, please, at AP nothing. Okay. Three, three ups. Yep. 
Okay. One goes through. It will be dead. That, it's four wounds. Yeah, so I get oh, three, three devastating, devastating wounds. Right. Yeah, that's does it. it explode? Hopefully. Come on. It does it, but yeah. you were on a play on live stream, which means you have to reroll the explosion result. You have to. You have to. Mm. If it fails. Okay. It I doesn't. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Steven, you're being cheered on by the disgustingly resilient podcast. He's oh. cheering on my captain. <laughs> Aiden's an absolute legend. He's one of my Death Guard coaches. Yeah. And he runs a really good podcast, actually. Um, he's a super nice guy, fantastic player. Yeah, and I had the pleasure of playing him on the team recently. So, um, heavy bolt of time into these ponies. Six is a sustain. The good one... thing, because you had a lot of misses. Yeah, I mean, they're sustained anyway. But anyway, so they miss. Uh, so they go back in, but it's also lethal. And then uh, that's three, please. Three AP. Oh, hang on a second. They might have something a bit special. They might have something a bit special about them. Devastating wounds. Um, oh. It's not going to matter. So just, yeah, basically three saves AP one. Two damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Save one. Save one. Oh, uh, I have cover. Yeah. I'd save both. Yep. You know, so one goes through. I'll let it go. Just one damage? Uh, two each. Two each? So kills one. Yep. Uh, I'll kill one of these bad guys yep. back here. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, they've got pistols. They advance. They're not Locked doing damage. anything. Well, that's kind of the shooting phase. Done. Charge phase. My favorite phase of the game. Um, right, so... Sammy. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Yeah, I want to get into there. Uh, I'm going to need a... Get him in. An eight. Do you know what? I'm just going to charge the tank, and then it's an eight. Does he have a vehicle keyword? The, who? Him? Yeah. I think he's just mounted. Yeah? Okay. I think he's just mounted. No vehicle keyword? He's just mounted. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If he's a vehicle keyword, I have a melt of mine in there. Oh, and it would give me D3 plus three mortal wounds on a two up. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I'm just going to charge this thing here. Yeah, it makes sense. Stephen, is that the Unforgiven detachment, or are you running regular old Space Marines? Gladius, just the Gladius basic detachment. Gladius detachment. Do I want to re-roll that? No, I don't want to re-roll that. I don't think. Save your CPs for other things. Um, this unit of Stern Guard um, are going to. That to there is not nice. So I'm just going to go into this single gentleman with the stern guard. <laughs> oh! No, I'm not. Oh, he's nuts! Stern guard are not going in. He's <laughs> the one guardsman that lives. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why? It was interesting, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> so uh, the captain unit is going to go in. With the ancient here? Yeah, mirror the nine. Into the camera. Finally made it in. Finally did something. Right, okay, cool. Do, do, do. Have you rolled for something on? Yeah. Yeah, I failed. Oh, you failed that one. I, didn't, I missed yeah. it. The charge phase is not going particularly well. No, that was yeah. a terrible charge phase. Yeah, not the best. I mean, you still have this one to charge. Yeah. Yeah. Not the I'm best. I'm assuming you're going to multi charge the Sentinel and Penelope. Not the best, though, is it? No. Could have been better. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Brian. So I'm assuming the move here uh, is to try to prevent uh, me from getting guys out and taking your objective. You got it. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Right. Um, other charges that I desperately want to make is going to be uh, this unit of Blade Guard into this and Penelope. Penelope being this giant tank here named after, named from one of our special character tiers on Patreon. Yep. What I'm actually going to do is declare this, this, and him as well. Okay? So the gentleman here that I failed my charge into, I'm also going to charge with Blade Guard. Makes sense. You might as well get all three. What this actually does is it stops me from having to base this model with every single model if I roll too high. Ah. Because I need to create room for myself. So yeah. um, I'm doing this in a way to spread myself out so I've got, you know, different... And oh. you will likely kill a bunch of stuff there. Seven. I think he may have so, tripped yeah, over a He can satisfy rock, the category actually. of going here. Everybody else can basically go over here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, get him into base to base. So I've got some lovely options. He can go around to there. Mm. This is the white squad, correct? Yeah, bone, yeah. bone squad. The bone squad. You haven't r rolled with the, uh, the no, red squad. And one of the reasons why you did all of it is because if you rolled to, if you just targeted this, you'd block out your exactly. other squad. Yeah. yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Smart thinking, smart thinking. Thank you. 
And I want to leave myself within four inches in case I kill this, and it means I can shift my unit back towards the objective. <laughs> so uh, now the inner circle, they're going to declare both this unit and this unit. Okay. That's the guardsman and the, the big giant tank. Yeah, they're positioned in a way so you can overwatch. He's running Imperial Guard. Earlier, um... I'm not going to overwatch you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't want a big cannon overwatch me. Thank you very much. Doesn't sound like a very good life choice. Um, I want to just sneak in there. Lovely. You get in inner circle champs. You've got a job to do. Can't go within an inch of that sentinel. We'll get base to base of these people. This is terrifying. Oh, that's good. Don't forget, folks, we got a couple of shots coming up here, so let's see. And what unfortunately, you because you killed dead. my engines Pick here a with a lucky and sniper shot. Shoot it. There was no luck in That was a lucky sniper shot. Pure skill, thanks Pure to the skill. chat. It yeah. means that I will not be able to repair this tank. Okay, um, so nothing else is happening here. I do want to spend some command points and have some fun. Um, <laughs> Are you not having fun? Not yet. <laughs> when I get to the command point phase, I will. <laughs> so, as my die, as my die, he gives full rerolls to hit. Okay, to his units, which is super cool. Uh, so that's nice. Azrael gives this unit sustain, so it means I can go for their lethal attack, get sustained and lethal. Brilliant. And obviously the oath targets I'm rerolling anyway. Brilliant. Um, and oh. it also gives them a four plus invun, which these guys don't have. And I. They just look super cool. So I am really actually going to use a unit, uh, a CP here, on the uh, Azrael's unit. Yeah. The Lance. Okay. Because I'm, I'm the assault director, and it'll also give me plus one AP as well. Okay. And this is a battle tactic, so it means I can replicate it on this unit too. And I'm going to yeah. trigger his once per game ability from the captain to get devastating wounds and use the honor of aimment, basically. Okay. Mm. Uh, all my other charges failed. So yeah, here we go. Azrael, let's see what he can do to one of the guys here will have to fight into this unit because he can't get base to base with this. Yeah. So one uh, guy's on there. Right, so here we go. We've got the... Which unit which first? The, the Sword of the Secret. It's six attacks going into big Penelope. That's this guy over here? Uh, yeah. Nice. Hit on twos. Six is a good stuff. Okay. And I, I, really, I like ones. I really hold those ones, though. I like, I like, oh, more ones, please. I like ones for you. Okay, cool. No. No, so that's no, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. One extra hit. That's not what I want to see. Cool, cool, cool. Um, lovely. And then we are looking for strength eight, so it would be uh, T T uh, thirteen on okay. Penelope. So it would be fives, getting that lance plus one to wound. So fours. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Four, please, at AP five. <laughs> what? Yeah. Can a two-up say that? No. Two. No, so it goes right through. Oh, I do have an invuln save because the injustice here did give it to it before he died. Is that from shooting or? Uh, well? Ooh. I don't know, I'm just checking. That's a good point. I don't know. Well, let's find out. It, the regimental injustice here gives an ability to just have a four-up invulnerable save. Cool. Excellent. Four-up invuln? Yeah. That is crazy Well, that's why you spend 50 points on him in every turn. You just get him four-up invuln. That is amazing. Well, that's why I didn't want you to kill him. Four saves, please, sir. None of them. <laughs> All right, so eight damage. Well, good thing he is still has, he has twenty-one wounds. So, right. um, that becomes thirteen wounds remaining. So, let's see what these earnest circle gentlemen can do. So, uh, wait, that was one guy. Yeah, it was my character. He's that was a, one guy. He's a chapter master. All right, he's, <sighs> you know, he's he's old. In, he's cutting a tank in half. He's old like with me. a sword. That is forty k. Mm. That is indeed forty k. He's, he's old like me. So, um. What, the one guard to your uh, people over there because he can't actually fight. He's getting four attacks into them. Six is a good, so that is a lethal and a sustained. Um, you get plus one to hit because I've got a character in the unit. And then I don't reroll the hit, so that just goes back in. Strength six. Look, getting plus one to wound. That's three AP two, please, on that unit. <laughs> yeah, okay, there. three dead. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just the rubbish stuff out of the way. Yeah. Uh, now, four attacks from each of the other people. Um, this is bad. It's great. It's amazing. We tack did say finish up by two, so. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate, we'll be finished up by one. Uh, right. Five guys are going to fight into Penelope. The problem is, your hit back will be pretty good, so. Uh, Unless you kill it. I only have 13 wounds left. I am going to fish for six. <laughs> because I hit on twos. <laughs> And rolling sixes gives me sustained and lethal. So if you're hitting on twos, always fish for sixes. Those two miss. This then... is the, the Simpsons quote. 
I'm in danger. Seven, eight, uh, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back in. Uh, Nick this is coming in hot trickier. with the we're so off. We didn't want fives even with the plus one to wound. <laughs> I'm in danger. Um, that's not a great deal there. <laughs> um, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, please. 12 um, at AP2, but you get so four off and vulnerables. Yes, and there's two damage each, okay? Because I'm going for obviously the dude, you're gonna kill him. Oh, especially for a roll like that. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, roll. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have three wounds remaining, right? Okay, then it's where it gets dicey. Do you, you have a couple more, don't you, from the other unit? Yeah, I yeah, do. yeah, yeah, you have one, two, three. Yeah, you could do all four into them. Well, potentially. So, this blade guard yep. into this guy. I'm going to take him off. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's what our friends at uh, Tabletop Titans like to say. Uh, he'll take an Uber. That's an Uber. Yes. They just take him off the field. Yeah. I love it. It's fun. Yeah. These two blade guard can only fight into here. Okay? Yeah. So, well, he obviously the pile in there. Uh, so, yeah, these two into him. Into the Sentinel. Then, then these four are going to try and commit to killing that thing. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay, so lesson learned. <laughs> Death Guard and, or sorry, uh, Dark Angels in close combat. Can nope. do some work. Yeah. I should have maybe deployed a little more conservatively. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when you've got a unit like this, you ha it's, it has to. It's an all or nothing yeah. game. It's like yeah. when you play against knights, it yeah. either goes really, really well yep. or really badly. 100%. You know, it's just like it, one of those things. When you take a big skew model like this, yeah. it's, your army has to, yeah, you got to be aggressive with it or... And you put me under a lot of pressure turn one because I didn't do any significant damage with my yeah. anti-vehicle tank and you yeah. killed mine, so I have to commit. i got no choice. Um, so it's just one of those kind of, yeah, things. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, First so Mastercraft power weapon, you're getting re-roll hits from over. Um... Okay. Three wounds left on this tank. It's gonna go down. Roll back. It's gonna blow Stay up cool. too. I just feel it. Right. <laughs> sixes. Three sixes. So just three to save? Yeah. That's it. I'm wounded on sixes. Okay, minus? Uh, two. Okay, so four ups. <sighs> I just rolled triple ones. That's a Nick special. Uh, that's not, no, 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 it's not a Nick special. Coined it. Yeah, got it. Is it multiple damage? Uh, two each, It yeah. doesn't matter if it's multiple damage, he's dead. You have killed Penelope. In one fell swoop, a bunch of swords came in and just skewered a tank. I don't think I'm gonna need that lion tank. So, this is the big question though. Does it explode? Oh no. And it explodes D6 wounds. Before you There's do that, There's a lot Nick, of models. Before you explode it, I just wanna Quote from chat from Derry D because I have to. By God, stop the match! <laughs> the Dark Angels with a steel chair. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Uh, so, if you were a member, you have access to the special play on uh, emojis. Uh, let's see a whole bunch of explosions in the chat. Don't do go, it. go, go! All right, here we go for the six. Hurrah! No. It's a natural six. Okay. Ba I've got a once per game ability. The Watcher oh, of the Dark can finally do something and give me some protections against the mortal wounds. No! Yeah. What does he give you? Four up, feel no pain. No! He gives four up, feel no pain. You know what that means? Yeah. All of my guys are going to die and you're going to survive. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you make the rules about the blowing up. I'm yep. happy to not blow I, I didn't even re-roll. You that know, was I'm, natural. I'm happy to re-roll it. No! It, it's a play on stream. You always this looks, re roll No, no, only if it fails. Oh, yeah. And if, it, if I did it? No, it's a oh. natural one, yeah. yeah. Um, so, every unit within six inches gets D6 mortal wounds. To put that in perspective, there's an Earthshaker car carriage in range, another Earthshaker carriage in range, uh, Lord Solar's in range, um, this unit of Guardsmen's in range, these infiltrators in range, this other unit of guardsmen in range, your blade guard in range, and your inner circle in range, and my sentinels in range. But you have to fade it first. I just gotta quickly resolve this attack yeah. and then it'll blow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those explosions, it looks awesome. <laughs> oh wow, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, the beard of Zeus. Uh, uh, Sweet Odin's a raven, that's a lot oh, of explosions. saves please. <laughs> on your thing at AP2, two damage. Save one. Okay, cool. Two damage each. Two, four, six. Yeah. Ooh. Did that kill him? A scout sentinel? It has. 
seven wounds. He's got one left, which then automatically dies from the Isn't exploded. it D6 plus two? Is it D6 plus two for it? Okay, let's check it. The Bane Sword, it's, it's a big... It is D6 plus two. Yeah. That's a big explosion. Yeah. So, first of all, my Sentinel like automatically Williams. dies from that explosion because he's only got one wound left. We'll see if that explodes. Does he explode? And it's a play on live stream. Gotta reroll it. Reroll it. Oh, uh, double explosion is always fun. Shane. <sighs> Sentinel, gone. Kaboom. Hmm. Um, your... What, yes. Blade guard? Blade guard. Your yep. blade guard, take. Oh, that's okay. Only three mortal wounds. All right, one dead then. It would have been a... No. And then your it inner circle, a, take. Yeah. Four, five, six mortal wounds. Okay, so I get the four ups here. Yeah, that's going to help do, you. Do, do. Uh, okay, take four, half. three wounds. One dead. I think the three wounds each. Regardless, moving on. The guardsmen. <laughs> like, I don't care, Steve. I'm killing my model. Four, wiped out. Yep. Uh, sorry, there's yes. one left. Nick did okay, just cool. potentially table himself. Um, the the infiltrators take three, four, five mortal wounds. That'll be got one guy with one wound. I take five on the infiltrators. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, six of Uh <sighs> One guy dies and one is a one wound. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, my guardsmen over here will take three wounds, oh, that's all right. killing three of them. One, two. Oh, could you imagine if I you exploded, killed everyone, and I got captured in my outpost? Wouldn't that have been the greatest play in the history of man? You, oh, no. God, that would no. be amazing. Okay. Uh, Lord Leonidas. <laughs> Seven, eight mortal wounds. No way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just the Lord Solar by himself. Oh. All the his bodyguard go away. <laughs> the first Earthshaker takes four, five, six wounds. It's got one wound left. You're joking. This is mental. the other Earthshaker blows up. No way. Don't. No. Doesn't blow up. Oh. So this Earthshaker just dies. <laughs> I pretty much, yeah, did I table myself? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, is that game? Uh, that's pretty close. <laughs> ba boom! These effects are very nice. Where can you buy such a beautiful Oh, from? Deadly Print Studios has been a sponsor of the channel for many years. They are amazing. All these special effects, these flames, these th things on my vehicle, I love them. They're fun. They keep the battlefield feeling alive. Problem is, we've had so many explosions, we've run out of them. I got more. Oh. Here, I'll go get some more. Oh, it's more of a joke of the explosion, but there we go. Feel my thunder there. Look, we have a box labeled explosions. Just so you know. <laughs> if you're at the Play On Studio, you get to play with explosions. Excellent. This oh might boy. be one of our shortest live streams on records, folks. As oh, Nick right. has potentially tabled himself, which is a very Nick thing to do. I got to be honest. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of what he does. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. Oh, it was a solid sportsmanship there. The the exploding hug on the mortal wounds. You you gotta love it. Um, can I have all the rest of the sniper shots? <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Right. Okay. Oh. So interesting fact. I've still got more combat to do. Yeah, yeah, let's fight. Mm. Um, and I'll see if I can kill another one. <laughs> so, uh, right, I said his once per game jobby, so he's going to get quite a few attacks here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the battle tactic for freezies because I'd be silly not to. <laughs> uh, I love 40k for moments like that. I like, mean, I don't care if they lost all my guys. It's a fun moment. <laughs> I don't care. And you'll remember <laughs> that, right? Thank you, Mandy D. <laughs> yeah, Deadly Print is fantastic. This, we absolutely love that. That actually stuff. reminded me of a moment. In Helm's Deep. Yeah. Oh, there were some great moments in Helm's Deep. It's gonna be a fun video. I can't mm. wait to show you guys that one. Yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. Um, Chris, if you're watching, you know, just, uh, in, you know, you know. Chris. Uh, yes, the bodyguard died. Lord, uh, Lord Solar's all by himself now. Right. Here we go. So this is my captain with one wound left into your Chimera. Okay. So d d okay, wait, before we go further, to put that in perspective. Yeah. I lost a Sentinel. Yeah. About one guardsman. Well, oh. <laughs> a sentinel. Uh, 15 guardsmen. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, five uh, rough riders, an earthshaker, and another earthshaker brought down to one wound. Yeah. Oh, and the and the bane sword. Yeah. You lost. Two models. Two models. Yeah. Yeah. But it was my turn. That feels fair. So, um, <laughs> so the command. Oh, I could. You know what? I'm going to. Thank you for that that point. I've been saving these two command points for a unit to die 
I was thinking it was going to be this one guy, but with these guys dead, two command points, yeah. that unit of Guardsmen, oh, the ponies. unit of ponies are back on the menu, boys. I like it. Great. So, um, the captain into your come here over there. Uh, I missed one. He gets no command points for me, please. Yeah, I'm also out of CPs. Um, T9. Yeah, so basically got devastating wounds right on here. sixes here. Uh, that is six mortal wounds. And that is two... Oh, no, I get plus one wound. So uh, two, four, six saves, please. AP three. I'm in the uh, assault doctrine. Yeah. Oh, hey, save, save, save. How many wounds? How many damage? Uh, so I did three, uh, so that six go for in total. Two each is 12. I think you might have killed it. I think you might have killed the Chimera because it has 11 wounds. Okay. So did that explode? It doesn't, but you're going to play on live stream. You have to re roll on explosion results. No. Oh, that would have been a nice one. Okay. Uh, 11 guys inside. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Any of them die? Two of them die. Two die, yeah. So a bunch of guys get out. Uh, you should be able to stay outside of combat, mate. Five, six, seven, eight. That's the commissar. <laughs> What, what what time is it back in the UK? No idea. Disgusting, resilient podcast. You must be up late. Uh, it should be 8.45, I would think, right about now. 45 p.m.? Evening, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely past his bedtime. No, it's way later than 8.45. It's got to be, no? We're eight hours ahead. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, and then this chimera gets blasted off the table. Yeah. Did you want to stay outside of it uh, four inches? Oh, I suppose you can't. Uh, there's no way for me to. Okay, then. So yeah. uh, I'm You can pile into them. I can't do a thing about that. That's what I'm going to have to do here. Just... Uh, Cheeky piling. Yeah, Talk about piling. Reverse and that might... Here. No, I'm not going to do it. Potentially get me behind enemy lines, but I won't be able to clear it with these two dudes. Well, I'm going to fight you. Fight so me. because you get into combat there, I'll pile in and I'll fight you. Did you have a CP? No, I spent it all. That's a shame, because you could have epic challenged me and took my last win off my character. That would have been fun. It would have been. I'll do it next turn. Yeah? I'll let you on it. Yes, to Zil Resilient. <laughs> but you can the first podcast. We believe you're a big boy now, and you're allowed to stay up as late as you the want. The Commissar? Commissar. Hits you once. Okay. Wounds you. Minus two. Slice of the power sword. See, you would have actually killed the character I if know. you had one CP left. No. That would have been a one damage, but. Oh. Uh, hits twice. Wounds nothing. Okay. That's it. Just did one wound. All right. Well, I failed a charge. I failed a charge. I killed a big tank. That blew up and stuff died. So at the end of that, I get behind enemy lines for. Just a just, just slight three. exaggeration on how little that was. Three victory points for that, just because I don't get two units, I've only got the one, and I do not have capture enemy outpost, but I think I'll keep it because I'm in an okay position to maybe do that next turn as things shook out. Cool. Absolutely brutal. All right, mate. All right, with the end of Steven's turn, we're halfway through round two at a score of 21 to five. Nick's lost a lot of stuff here, and I think it's time for some snipers to do some work. And I, I gotta be honest, I kind of feel bad for Nick at this point, having lost effectively two thirds of his army. So I think it's gonna be two sniper shots in a row for Nick, and he gets to choose two targets, just can't shoot the same target twice. So I get two sniper shots? I'm gonna do the first one in this ancient and get my assassination points. Could I quickly answer Calvin's question? Sure. He said, do Vanguard Tactics ever do in-person lessons? We do, and we do workshops at most of the huge events, like the LBO, we do a workshop, and also at the LGT, which is gonna be in London. So not too far from, uh, or in the UK, basically. I thought it said sorry, but it said sunny. But uh, yeah, LGT, you can get your tickets to come to one of my in-person workshops. I would like to do that one day. They are fun. awesome. That'd be fun. Yeah, you should come to the LBO one. You yeah. should all come to the LBO sure. one. Sure. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Okay. We'll do like a play on VT workshop. Ooh, Ooh. that'd be fun. Let's not talk. How to roll but explosions. Yeah. <laughs> so I get, okay, so to be clear, these sniper shots are chat sponsored sniper shots. It's a way of, not only you guys can interact with the game, have some fun with it, but also it sponsors the channel. Keep the lights on. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, sniper captain. shot. At the, yes, at this ancient captain over here. You just blew up your chimera. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yes, it hits! This is the problem. So I just need a two. The wound! Oh, sorry, strength seven. So I need a three, but I think it's minus three? Does he get that, devasta it's a get that shot. devastating wound ability? Oh, yeah. So not devastating wounds. So it goes three and does D3 plus three damage. Dead. Does six damage. Pass over. Boom! Puts me back on the scoreboard, though, because that scores me assassination. He destroyed. He failed. I failed it. 
I know. Captain dead. All right, so that's, give me five points, please. That's Captain Chris. Captain Chris dead. Captain Just Chris. like that. Boom. Should have killed my chimera. Mm. The second one is going to try to snipe out your lieutenant. What? Yeah. I thought you said you didn't. You killed my engine, sir. I'm going to kill your lieutenant. All right. That was a one. That was a two. It hits. Yeah. It wounds. Yeah, that's the problem. Minus three. Five up. D3 plus. No. One Ooh. damage. So four damage total. Is that enough? Does it kill him? Is the is the lieutenant gone? Well, I definitely didn't give him a shield, so. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, no. <laughs> He's only got four wounds. Yes. No. Yes. I needed that. <laughs> Damn it. That was fire discipline gone as well, the enhancement. I, I, needed, I needed something going my way. No, yeah. I don't think so. Thank you, JT. I appreciate that. Appreciate uh, that very Sage, much. Sage just donated as well. Thank you, Sage. We've already used the shield breaker once this turn, but uh, have no fear. Should should the game get out of hand one way or the other, we might bring a shield breaker shot back. <laughs> what have I got left? Not much. I think Lord uh, Lord Solar needs to go out in a blaze of glory. He's got nothing else left for him. So, in the command phase. CPs. CPs. I get one, then got two because Lord Solar's still alive. So I'm at two command points. I'm up to one. I'm going to do some tank shock and grenades. That's what we're going to do this turn. Yes. Yeah. You got your 21 to 10, is that correct? Uh, and then I score five points for primary. No, 10. 10 points for primary. Yeah, 10 points. Yeah. Give me another tw 10 points. I am at 20 to your 21. Bring it. Wait, you have 21? I have 21. Oh, you scored primary, right? You went before me. I did, yeah. Behind enemy lines. Easy. Easy, because I got a unit coming in. Uh, no, you can't bring them in this turn, right? Why not? Because reinforcements in turn two. You can't land them. I deploy them in turn, in turn two. They come from strike reserves, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 you're if right. If they're deep strike, fair game. Oh, yeah, they're not way. deep strike. Cleanse. Mm. Easy. I don't want to cleanse with them because they're damage dealers, but yes, I could cleanse with them. You could do what? Uh, what's their OC? Uh, they're OC one. I've only got two here, so if you manage to get three models here, you could cleanse both. Like, they're decent damage dealers, and they're like AP weapons and plasma weapons and melters and all sorts of stuff like that. Oh, I could flame you, though. This is true. Oh, the tables have turned with Overwatch now. I'll yeah. just go outside of your flame range. Yeah. I'll go over here. So as the gentlemen uh, sort their movement phase and Nick decides what he's going to do there, it's an opportunity to remind you that uh, all of the Super Chats and the gift of memberships are going towards oh. sniper shots. As you just saw Nick pick up two of Stephen's characters with him, uh, we've got a couple sniper shots on deck to be used uh, in a turn coming up. Uh, that said, we're also doing this. It's at 50 bucks for every $50 donated and uh, for all of the gifted subs as well. So we're doing our best to keep track of all of that stuff and then rack up the sniper shots. That goes directly to fund us and keep our lights on and, and keep Tycho in paint and moving in Tyranids and all that wonderful stuff. So we very much appreciate your support. We really literally couldn't do this without you guys. Not only that, this episode is sponsored by Steven, Guard, uh, Steven Box and Vanguard Tactics himself. So there's a discount code in the description uh, for 10% off the Academy. Academy actually starts Monday, and I think the signups close at the, on the 11th. There's 176 videos, is it, Steven? You know, core rules of the game from, you know, the fund fundamentals to the advanced tactics. Um, what, um, where are we at on Super Chats at the minute? I think we're sitting at two sniper shots at the moment. I meant just generally on the mount. Oh, what do we have for dollar vibe? We'll get uh, get our man Owen on that, because okay. JT doesn't know where the heck to look. I've got, <laughs> I've got an idea. I'm, I'm oh. outside of 12 of your flamers. Got it. OK. Nick being very strategic with his maneuvers. I'm trying. So we've reached a total of 821 yes, Canadian thus far. How much? 821 Canadian. Okay, so if we get to a thousand by the end of this stream, anybody that super chats, can we put them into a live draw so I can give them a space on the academy? That'd be fun. I think we could probably figure something out like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You, you heard it here, folks. If we reach a thousand Canadian, which is like not that much more, about 150 US, 125? Yeah, I'll sponsor someone to go on the academy. How cool is that? And if they've, so if they've already signed up for the academy, I'll refund them that money, okay? Wow. So that they won't miss out at all. Um, yeah. That is amazing. Steven, thank you so very much. So you heard it, folks. We need about another 150 to 160 US in Super Chats 
and Stephen Box will gift you a membership to the Academy. All of you who have super chatted, he will gift you members. It doesn't matter if it's two dollars or three dollars or whatever. Anybody who super chats will go into that draw as long as we reach that thousand dollar mark. That's absolutely fantastic news. If we reach two thousand, I'll put in another prize. Oh, and if we reach two, another prize, even better. And if you've already signed up, hey, he'll refund you. How cool is that? Yeah. Where's the appointment zone? Where's your deployment zone? Oh, Venomous yeah, Sniper yeah, Shot, that, thank yeah. you so very much. Venom, Venomous, I love the name. That's fantastic. Owen is running through the chat right now and collating a list. David Maloney, thank you so much. Wow, Edward Bryan, amazing. Holy crow. Oh, wow, David. Wow, we wow. What? Ryan, whoa, guys. Uh, Ryan hey. Johnson. So all these snapper shots are for me, right? I get to use them? Like, that's what well, happens. That like, I can use those quick. snipers because I'm losing, right? 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 I, I take it back. That thing I said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like a half dozen more sniper shots already. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, guys! Hey, we can turn this around, folks. In the chat, we can turn this around, right? You all want to vote for me to get all the sniper shots, right? Because Dalton, thank you. HAV, thank you. If we get to 1,500, I'll do a full year on the masterclass series, that where we cover Ooh. every single codex, the Space Marine codex. Uh, course we have is 63 videos just to put it into perspective we're going to do every single codex as it is released so uh yeah get a year subscription on that Plans with him. Cool, cool, cool. no good gaming live thank you so much wim dunker thank you so much taco games thank you so much all right so i have moved my casterkin out they've given themselves take aim so they're gonna be hitting on Twos, um, and they've moved outside of twelve We've got, here. We've uh, got Owen working on it, Bob. So, so that they can try to. We're trying to take we'll, out this we'll unit. Work towards mm. that as well. There's a lot of firepower here. Maybe. Yep. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to be cleansing with the Sentinel on this objective here. Yep. Um, he'll still get to do his spotter ability, which is great. Um, First Angel, thank you so much. Uh, I need to be able to be within three. Yep. Great. And Lord Lord Leonidas Solar is going to move up and say, I'm going to go out with the blaze of glory because you're going to charge me next turn and kill me anyways. Might as well kill you this turn. You know, Let us know when you hit your shooting phase, Nick. <laughs> uh, I think oh, I moved everything. you got to do some Battleshock checks. I did. You did um, them? Okay, so cool. failed with the uh, Air Shaker Cannon. Yep. Well, no it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I did pass with this one remaining guy right there. You know what that is, because he's got one of those special effects guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's exactly because that. Hey, yeah. Steven, there's yeah. a question for you at the Academy. Oh, he has movement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the screen, actually. You teach the flex roll in the Academy. <laughs> yeah, do, it is uh, lesson number one. Um, yeah, it is lesson number one, how to flex roll. It's the most important lesson. Dude. I was in three. What? What is this crazy move? Move, move, move. Plus yeah. his movement. Yeah. Plus a one inch advance. Yeah. Gets within three inches of the objective. Okay. Can you advance and shoot? No. Oh, I was going to cleanse. You really did oh. open that Pandora's didn't box. Think that didn't, through. Through. didn't think that through. Well, I, I've got two OC anyway. They're dead. Canis, thank you. Atreos, thank you. <laughs> Swappy, thank you. Wow. Caleb Robshaw, thank you. Gamer <laughs> Tom, Tommy Gun Angel. <laughs> Arson, good lord. Odinson, here we go. Do we still have that bot? That we did during Christmas. Do you remember the Christmas bot that we did that? Like the the, the, the bot that chose names. Yeah, yeah, um, we are. I can. I, that's what I'm working on. So oh, okay, cool. Well done. Somebody did ask, do membership uh, sponsors Herman, thank count you. if somebody's donate? I'm happy to allow that as well because I don't want anyone to miss out on the potential. For the memberships, to, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like, it all helps, right? So yeah, I'm 100. percent And don't forget, if you've just been gifted a membership or already are a member, Stephen and I will be playing World Leaders versus Drew Curry. After this live stream, the boys will take a little bit of break. We'll have a little bit of lunch. We'll come back and we'll have a slap down, knock down, oh, drag out, barn there. burner, malfunction at the junction, slobber knocker kind of. He's over there. Oh, I didn't see you guys were there. That's a smart move. Mm. Smart thinking. And I can't go into deployment zone. Oh, you've done a you've done a good job here. Oh, and these guys are, can't go within twelve of these guys either. Correct. Yeah. <sighs> this is a frontline gaming match. That Nick? means there's nowhere for these guys to go in. No, I'm gonna keep them off a turn. Yeah, keep coming. Mm. Coming the next then turn. they can come in. Yeah, and then I can make. Well, you've got behind enemy lines anyway. Yeah, so um, I've got with one. I'm not going to overwatch because that would just be lame. Get overwatch. Nah, go for it. All right, my move phase is now done, sir. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Just Funk. Is there anything we need to know? Wow, Bob O'Hara, thank you so much. 
How do I keep myself motivated when I'm working out? Um, I think it's not... I'm often not motivated to work out. Yeah. What keeps me going is discipline. Yeah. Um, but also having some accountability really, really helps. Um, and knowing that it's long term, really good for me. And it makes me feel so good. So I look forward to the end result makes and sense. the after effects rather than the, uh, yeah, the actual training itself. Sometimes getting to the gym can be really hard once you've done a super long day and it's Thank you, sometimes Mark the last thing you want to do. But yeah, habits, discipline gets you across the line more often than not. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, well, I'm done a, my movement phase. Uh, JT, we had a question from Andrew Herman. This is a Frontline Gaming Matt Terrain, isn't it? Yes. This is the terrain. This is their Matt, too. Yeah. So this is Frontline Gaming Matt and Frontline Gaming Terrain. This is part of their uh, pre-printed series or pre-painted series. Yep. Yeah. So it's an MDF set that you just show up, and it gets to your door, and Build you it. chop it up, and away you go, and yeah, yeah. You're, you're done. It's fantastic. We really like it. Um, it breaks down pretty easy, too, as well, and it goes together fast. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got a whole bunch of sniper shots. So I, I finished is, my moon phase. What do you want to do? frantically typing away here, trying to, to prep said, the draw for the, to the stream. It's approximately 11 shots. Wow! Yeah! So can I just nuts. roll a few at a time and like try to keep, take down his land raider or something like uh, that? I think actually what we're going to allow right now is is I'm just going to walk up and take a look at the table stage. We could change it instead of the normal shot. Like, we've done it before. The sniper shot has been a just... A Gatling gun, get clearly. It, if you hit, it's D3 mortal wounds. It might be easier allow, this way. I think what we're going to allow, and I'm sorry I'm so quiet, folks, so I'll try to speak up. I think with 11 mortal wounds, 11 shots on the table, and a commanding board presence for the Dark Angels, I think we're going to give Nick four shots. And every time he hits, it doesn't matter what he hits, it's just going to be D3 mortals. Woo! Ooh, but you it. still have to hit. I love it. Great. So four shots. Can't hit the same unit twice. D3 not more to be wounds. greedy, D3 but more we've got 11 hits. shots to go through. Not to be greedy, but we've got 11 oh, shots no. to go through. Well, Can worry. I have more than four? Oh, oh hang on a minute. Uh, no, I feel like that's being greedy. Yeah. That yeah, is a bit greedy. Yeah. So Steven gets one. Yeah. Yeah. Nick gets two. <laughs> Nick gets five. Steven gets two. Yeah. Is that cool? How'd you like those apples? Okay. Yeah. All right. Steven gets five. Or Nick gets this five. Is, this, is, this is just for them anyways. I want them to see more shots. How are we doing, chat? Oh, Seven shots yeah. going out right it's now. Here we go. It's not for me. It's for the it's chat. For the, it's for the, it's not for the chat. No, it's not for you. No, not it's for, for them. It's for um, them. I'm going to do all four shots. Okay. Into these inner circle. One at a time. No, all of them at a time. No, you can't shoot the same unit twice, JT. Yeah. You still can't shoot the same unit twice? Can't shoot the same Not until you've shot everybody. Okay. Uh, inner circle. That's a miss. <laughs> Blade Guard veterans. That's a miss. So we get I just rolled two ones in a row, JG. <laughs> this, this is getting you green. Have uh, that ability. Into the bikes. Sure. That's two. It's a hit. So D3 mortal wounds. At three. I mean, so jokes if they were minus one to hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and into the these infantry over. Nope. These. These guys. Yeah. These guys right here. Sure. Thank you, Ben Olson. That's a hit. Oh, two mortal wounds. D3 in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You cool. got a hit first. Yeah. Two sure. mortal wounds. Do the guy off. Do do. All right. Well, I did a bet. Now you're two. <laughs> Nick, did you kill anything there? I killed one guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I rolled a bunch of ones. It's that kind of game. Like, we're yeah. doing what we can. I rolled a bunch of ones there. You want to shoot a couple? He said he could shoot two. Two sniper shots? You don't have to. I mean, you want to try to keep to get it out? I mean, it's a bit, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? Uh, I don't like this guy. Yeah, kill him. Woo! He can die. Yep. On my death. And I feel like shooting the Earthshaker with one mortal wound might be a little bit too gross. Oh, I realized I did not take the penalty for when you shot them. Luckily, I failed the charge. Oh. What's the penalty for shooting? You suppress me. Right. It's minus two to the charge, minus two to the movement. Yes. Right. Sorry. Yeah, luckily, you failed I've the charge. I've only just remembered. Is that only okay. as yeah. long as it's on the table, though? Uh, yeah. Huh? As long oh. as the unit's on the table, or is it a persisting effect? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's for the turn. Should you try to kill it now? Yeah. Yeah, kill the Earthshaker. Hits. One wound. It's dead. Cool. Earthshaker's gone from the snipers. Mm -hmm. That just makes the game faster. Yeah, exactly. All right, now I can do my turn proper. That's unfortunate, because I actually moved to be within three inches, so I could do a melt of mine. Oh, you can still do that. 100%. No, but then you're flamey. Voodoo plays, thank you. Ah. I planned my entire turn around this. Hey, look, I'm I'll, I'll allow it to be I'm longer. Just no, 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 it's all good. It's all good. I'm being silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm being silly. You can do it. Let's see the melt of mine. At the beginning of the shooting phase, I'm going to declare a grenade from these horses into those. Nope, into. Yeah. 
to these guys right here. Yeah, okay, cool. The Blade Guard veterans. Yeah, because they've got a good invun, so it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, let's, so. let's, uh... These guys are easy to kill. They're only yeah. three up, say, two up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, take three mortal wounds onto the Blade Guard veteran. Kills the Blade Guard. Kills the Blade Guard. Uh, take the guy close. All right. Away. That's down to one command point. Yep. Then we are going to chem cannon into the Blade Guard veteran as well. That is... A lot of shots. Jump, jump, jump. Anti, anti infantry two up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. AP. Chem cannon is a E2. Ah, can I remember these? I need to get better at remembering them. Uh, range weapons, chem cannon, minus two, two damage each. That's a problem. That's two dead. Ooh, yeah. Kill another two. Um, then his. Regular heavy flamer from the front. Yeah, four shots. Uh, take two more wounds. Wait, what toughness are you? Wind Dunker oh, and uh, Joseph Sally. Uh, two wounds, minus nice one. Okay. And then his Hunter Killer Missile. Why not? Oh, spicy. Missy. Definitely missed, yeah. <laughs> Hunter Killer Missiles. We should, should call, start calling them Hunter miss, Killer misses. Rockets. Mm. Hunter Killer Misses. They don't miss in it. Ah, okay, yeah. he's going with that. Yeah, yeah. cool. I don't know. It's mm. a weird superstition, but I, I kind of yeah. like it. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's don't cleansing, don't... so we won't fight. The, yep. the castle gate will fire everything into this unit of bikes. All right, okay. Okay, two plasma guns. Cool. Uh, that looks like rapid fire range from here. Am I in 12? Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. I know 12 inches. Hitting on, I'm hitting on twos. Yep. I rolled two ones. Okay. Two wounds. That's three, I believe, for plasma. So it looks like Black Knights have a five plus invulnerable save. That's pretty Beautiful. cool. Beautiful. Thank you, Poké Chasers. Oh, he's rolled double fives. Mm, that was good. It was like a skill roll as well. I just killed two. Right, two Meltas. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> and there were threes. One wound, minus four. I'll do it. Yeah, you're gonna do it again. No! Take D6 wounds. Oh, take two. Okay, cool. Do you y Yes. Sassy Poxwalker has a question for you. Yes. Uh, you mentioned a huge video master class for Marines. Is there a Death Guard master class as well? Is there a Death Guard master class? Well, there definitely will be as soon as the uh, codex drops, basically. And we've got, obviously, Aiden from Discussing Resilient. We're going to get him down and be a part of that, because uh, and also Death Guard Dave. So we are going to be doing a lot of Death Guard codex uh, content when that drops, whenever that might be. And I'm also going onto their podcast soon as well. So, yeah. Or minus one. Also, That's Tat's been trying to convince me to start playing Death Guard. Yeah, so I might do it this season. Sure. Might be one of my three armies this yeah, season. Right on. Sisters of the Battle, Death Guard, and another. Why right not? Sorry, what, what am I doing? Three minus one on those bikes. Okay, cool. You go through. One damage each. One bike dead, and one tick to wound. All right. All those guards are going to fire into them as well. Yeah. The plasma gun, rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Got another one. Oh, sorry, I already, already do hazardous tests from those castle guns. Yeah. Don't kill each other. And the plasma gun does wound. Nice three. Five up. I think that's three damage um, for overcharge. Oh, well, uh, does he blow himself up? No, he does not. And then grenade gun. Crack grenade. That's a hit. That's a wound. Minus oh. two, I believe it is. Three damage. Whoa. Think a crack grenade is three damage? Oh, brutal. Now I'm double checking. Now I'm double checking. Is it D3? Might be D3. I'll roll your damage anyway for you. You rolled a one. I'll roll the damage. I rolled a three. Yeah. That's why I roll the damage. <laughs> if I'd have rolled a five or a six, would you have kept D3? D3 damage. Yeah. Good question. That's the question. When you're when I'm losing, 100 yeah. <laughs> percent If I'd have rolled a six, you'd have been like, yeah, Mark, I'm keeping that, Steve. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And then a bunch of really just... Steven, people are asking about the blue guns. Vanguard Tactics dice and where they can get them. I want the blue VT dice. Well, actually, we're in... Um, you, can get ble you can get our current sets from Frontline Gaming website, um, and we're going to be working very soon with the Baron of Dice uh, to make sure that we've got some lovely VT-style dice just like this. So, uh, yeah, loads of cool new dice on the way. Two. Yeah. No minus. Yeah, I got one. Damage? One. Oh, okay. yeah? Yeah. Supercharged plasma is only two damage, right, Nick? Uh, two damage? Supercharged plasma. 
Uh, plasma gun is two damage. Indeed. Did I say three? You said three. I apologize. That one wound. Yeah. Take it back. I'll put, take it back. Yeah. I'm used to my Tau plasma that are. Of three. course you are, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the Chimera will fire into that same unit. <laughs> when will it end? Good work. It won't, no. ever. Until you lose. Uh, three heavy flavor shots. No <laughs> wounds. Uh, no, wait. You're tough five? T5? Yeah, one T5. Wound. Yeah. One wound minus one. I'm okay. Okay. And then the multi-laser mm -hmm. hits you once. Mm -hmm. Wounds you once, no minus. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, she's gone. Yep. Um, forgot to use the Sentinel's ability. Yep. What's that? Uh, real one's a hit on something, a target with an 18. He was cleansing. He can do both, I believe. The ability. You have to target, right? No, it just has to choose it. It says, just says, what choose something with an 18. Oh, yeah. Just choose it. Yeah. Did you roll anyone's to wound? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. Too late. Can't change the best. All right. I try. Uh, Lad's gonna raise. Thank you, Eli Weezer. Hits a bunch Appreciate of dice. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No wounds. Okay. No. Your T5. Yeah. One, one wound. Yep. So, so we've hit. Was it five yeah. needed? One yeah. point oh, four. Oh, you're two fives. K. Okay, that's sir. right. Fourteen hundred. Any Canadian All right. is what we've hit. This now unit right here. Mind. We'll yep. fire everything into this unit right here. They have take aims. They're getting plus one hit. They have lethal hits because they stood still. Auto cannon shots. Hits twice. Wounds once. Hey, Nick, I'm going to interrupt you for just a second. Okay. Just an update. We've hit $1,400. Wow. Thank that you. was a huge surge. Thank you so much, chat. If you get then one more hundred dollars, I'll give a year's description on the Masterclass for all those different codexes that drop within the next 12 months from this date in time. Um, and uh, you also get access to every single one we've ever done and will do for the next 12 months. And it's normally $30 a month to get all of that content. So... Yeah, whatever that works. What's the, so so one hundred dollars more, and they get the full access to the master class. This isn't everyone, or is this just a random? Just a random person. A random drop. Yeah. Is wow. it three, are we now at three different people, or is this one person getting all of that? One person getting the academy, and this will be one person getting the master class. So there's two different things to win. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic. So uh, swords or maces on Death Watch Knights? Maces. Did you fail that save? I passed it. I rolled a four. For okay, got it. Yeah. You heard him, folks. Fine. Fine. We're so close to Plasma. somebody getting a free masterclass for the year. It's once. Doesn't move you. Doesn't blow up. Grenade gun. Hits. Wounds. Minus two. Ooh. Go through on these guys. Yeah, four pin them. Yeah, if you're. Two last guns. Uh, hits one lethal. Yep. And one wound. Just one wound. No AP. Oh, okay, sorry. Ooh, one wound. And then Lord Solar takes out his giant pistol Ooh. and tries to shoot those guys as well. And his pistol is decent. Okay. The Righteous Gaze. Two shots, hitting on twos. Hits them both. All right. Strike eight. Okay. Your T4? Yes. Wounding on twos. Always the one. Uh, one wound at minus two that does two damage. We're at the bottom. That, I believe, in my shooting phase. Okay. No, sorry. Plasma pistol into, into combat. Hits. Oh, you spicy. Kills. AP. Doesn't kill. Three. Oh, no. You're overcharging it. Always. Oh, I'm always overcharging it. Do I get a six up save then? Yeah. Watch this. That's cool. Does he blow himself up? He's not. Cool. Oh. Is there coaching for specific actions like, say, Chaos Demons? For what? For like, say, Chaos Demons or or any of the other factions, is there coaching for specific factions? Yeah, so what we offer is one-to-one -one coaching. So if you wanted to book in for like a one-to-one -one, uh, yeah. coaching call, maybe you've got a tournament coming up, maybe you want some help with a list you're trying to put together, maybe you're getting a, an army commission painted and you want to get this it all is, uh, checked over. This is turn three, by the way. Oh, we definitely do that. You can book on a one-to-one -one coaching call no. on website. No, this is turn two. This you is turn two. two. This is turn we're two. I thought it was turn three. After yeah. this combat, we're about to go into my t turn three. Yeah, well, a lot happened in these two, tur two yeah. turns. Uh, charging phase. Yes. I am going to charge, charge with the Chimera into your bikes. Go on then. Four, five, six. I think you made it. I'm going to charge with Lord Solar. Did you want to do any stratagems over here? Or do I have to do it now? Tank yes. shock. Yeah, I want to, I'm doing that to do tank shock. Tank shock here, yeah. Yeah, cool. one tank shock. Yeah. Uh, so his highest strength weapon is, I believe, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's higher than your toughness. Two more. Yeah. So five outs, mortal wounds. I did... One. All right. Okay. Cool. That was slightly underwhelming. So worth the command point. Mm. Yeah. 
No command points for me. Uh, charging the Rough Riders into these, in whatever they're called. It's the Stern Guard, okay, yeah. Five, six, ooh, that's a tough one. You're in, definitely in. Can you move for me? Oh, absolutely. And then while he's doing that, Lord Solar is charging into these Blade Guards right here. With a three, good thing I rolled a three. Okay, on the fifth day. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the light. <laughs> Cool. Um, these guys are still in combat, so we'll... uh, that's it. That's all, folks. That's all you got. That's all I got. Where would you like to start? Um, can you drop? You cannot. Nope. Lord Solar sounds fun. All right then, Lord oh. Solar. I'm gonna choose reroll ones to my saving throw. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. So we get six attacks. What's your AP? Minus two. Okay. So I'm a contender. With a sword called Conquest. Oh. Hit on twos. Still got the one. The question regarding how often we do these uncuts, it's... Uh, and it's six. Twice a week, no, Owen? One, remember? two, three wounds at minus two. Four up. If you remember, you get the public and the prime. Two damage each. And public ones are just... Are these reroller saves? No, it's only on ones. Oh, got him. Yeah. Cool. And then the horse's hooves. Two horse hooves attack you. No, don't do that. Hits you twice. No. Wounds you none. Oh, brilliant. Cool, cool, cool. The... Chimera tries to hit you. Let's do it. And Why not? Square. Always square. They roll better. Hits you twice. Yes. Wounds you once. Nick did uh, bring twice. Tanks. They Three just six. all blew up. You killed the bike. I killed the bike. It's kind of annoying. Excellent. Mm -hmm. The horsies charge in. Frag or Melta? Ooh, that is the question. That's a hard decision. Frag is D6 with no minus. If you go this way, I can put more models on the objective for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, he would actually have to... So, can, can, can I get a Steven Box coaching moment? Yeah, Would on. you suggest Frag or Melta in this situation? I need to look at their stats. So, um... Mel Anyth anything that's damage two. Oh, the, the Frag is damage one. The Melta... It's a, it's a Melt. It's a one-shot, but it's, uh, it's like, I think, D6 damage. I would definitely go for anything. Of, what's the AP on it? Decent? Three, I think? What's yeah. the other one? Nothing. Don't do, don't do that. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking the Melta makes a bit more sense. You're better off just killing what you can kill. Yeah. Okay. So I will go with the melta tip, which is strength six minus two, two damage. Cool. Yeah. How with many, lance. How many attacks each? Two each. Oh. Oh. No, that's a gold lance. Sorry. <laughs> one of them has a gold lance, which okay. is two attacks. The other one is a melta tip with one attack, strength nine minus four d six. Yeah, definitely. You hundred percent do that. Yeah. Three melta lances. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Ah. Double one sucks. And can't good. do anything about that. And that's a wound at See, minus four. So Nick special there with the double one. Yeah, I don't um, like this being a Nick special. I don't yeah. like that idea. Yeah. Don't like, like that idea. It's like the opposite of mine, you see. Roll your save! I don't get a save. It's eight before. Oh, you love how so calm, aggressive. collected Nick keeps himself at the table. One damage. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> one damage. I took it, all right? Fine. The horse's hooves go. <laughs> Three hits. One wound! No minus! No theater, are they? <laughs> Killed him! <laughs> Goad Lance! Hits you twice! <laughs> Wounds you twice at minus two. Oh, that's a five. And that's a six. Ah! Yeah. <sighs> me. Yeah. I'm gonna start with that combat over there, otherwise you'd get to fight for me. Yeah. yeah. You, you like the new dick? <laughs> To be clear, for anyone wondering, I'm having a ton of fun. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it in his eyes. Mm. So at this point, we have, I think, four sniper shots remaining. Oh. I think it's probably time to get rid of a couple of those. I yeah, think. can I have them all? Well, I was going to give one each, but uh, you can ask your opponent kindly and politely if he would give it to you. But uh, so again, I think it's one each. I'm an extremely, you know, I pride myself on being sporting and fair. I'll let you do whatever you think is fair, okay? So, uh, Why would he do that to me? That's just mean. Yep. Okay. Uh, my these are my chainsaw attacks first. Uh, that is three <laughs> saves, please. AP minus one onto those lovely guardsmen. AP one. AP one. Yeah. Yeah. Killed another two. Cool, cool, cool. And then my uh, sergeant from the squad there. Do, 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 do. Uh, that is three AP two. Ah, uh, go right through. Now, I, the commissar can only give really give one order, and that's uh, uh, you can have it. Bayonets. You yeah. okay with that? Okay. Yeah, of course I am. So it's plus one to their weapon skill. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'll hit you back over here. 
So three guardsmen. Yeah. Hit you on fours. Yep. Three wounds. Yep. I don't even Good. know if an order. Hey, damage one. Help him and the commissar takes his sword, mighty sword, and whiffs them all. Okay. Not so mighty. Oh, he's, he's stuck it in the ground. What can he? Oh for? no! Aha! Uh -huh. Because of uh, fixed bayonets, he hits on twos. All right. Wounds twice. And okay. minus two. All right then. Yeah. Slice the head off. The sword. It's going around. That's a five. Yeah. Yeah. Still got a chance. Slice the head off. I'll allow it. I will allow it. Okay. That was kind of you. Thank yeah, you. That's all right. All right. Down my comment face. Hit yeah. me back over here. Hit Ooh. me back over here. Yeah. Hmm. So, Blade Guard Boy. No, we need to go to, with um, Asmodee because if he kills a character. Doo -doo -doo, uh, at the start of the fight phase, each enemy character within six must take a battle shock check. You can do that for me, please. Here, you need a battle shock check for me. Okay. Battle shock test Min for minus one. Fail. In addition, <laughs> to your battle shock. Yeah, Lord Solar's battle shock makes no difference. You just can't use CPs on him. In addition, <laughs> each time this model is destroyed, an enemy character. Oh, okay, cool. So let's try and kill you here. That'd be fantastic. So uh, five attacks with the old strike. Hit on twos. Re oh, I hit. Um, and then strength six. What toughness are you? Uh, toughness, probably five. No way. Come on, much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. That one. I'm toughness, four. Well, I've wounded you five times. Uh, AP um, minus two, please. Dan Thomas, thank you. One, well. two, okay. three. Lord Troll is done. Yeah, and I gained a CP. Explodes. No, I gained a CP. The nice. rule I thought would never come up in the history of Asmodee has come up in the first game I've used him. Brilliant. Right. Cool. I like to be corrected, and Asmodee's actually pretty good. I'll take there it. There we go. Oh, boy. Cool mo. Are you still got another attack here? Yes, I do, yeah. And another attack over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I'm yeah, yeah. Go take the objective away from me. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm I can't believe they whiffed so hard. Actually, they didn't do... I know they did. They rolled a bunch of ones, and then he rolled a bunch of fives. But you yeah. actually... You killed Kill a couple. I killed one. Um, so I killed one. The guy with the power fist. One hit. Uh, one AP two. Ooh. Six up. Two damage. Kill the guy. And then one how down. How many are these guys' attacks? I don't know if I even rolled enough attacks then. Right. So stern guard, veteran, melee, uh, power fist. I I don't know if I rolled three or four attacks. I do actually. I rolled three. I hit with the. Uh, Okay, another save, please, AP2. Two damage. Oh, sorry. I was Just rolling one. two dice for some reason. Uh, yep, kills another one. Cool. Tim, I agree. These rolls are terrible, one. are insane, are two. weird. Three. Nick, you need to reveal the three <laughs> assault launchers hiding Five. across the room. Yep. I did set Ben CP on reinforcements. Yes, there is a unit coming in, but it's hardly going to change the battlefield, I think. I mean, I did kill a few of the guys in there. It was nice. Mm. It wasn't a... I killed most of the bike squad. I killed a couple guys from this squad. I killed almost the entire Blade Guard veteran squad. You've killed a good 600 points. Yeah, I, like, I didn't do nothing this round. I mean, you killed 600 points with literally having most of your good stuff gutted. So. Yeah, this is true. It's a uh, priority targets for this one is our priority. Toughness on these so little uh, ponies? Five each objective, 15 at the end of the Toughness game. Toughness on the ponies? Four. Okay. Current uh, is, uh, six saves, no AP. I think Steven has... Four, five, six, four ups. They're all dead. Okay, cool. He killed the horses. Excellent. Horse is gone. I wish I had two command points. I would bring them back. I do not. They're all gone. Not sure what Nick has. Do, 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 do. Oh. Do, do. Nick presently has cleanse and. Uh, have you played them a bit? Okay, so I actually really like the new units. Yeah, uh, I think they're good. I think the characters are okay. Um, I think a lot of people were sort of saying about the lion's been nerfed. Um, I actually think he's all right. It was, yeah, the strike attack's been nerfed, but we weren't seeing a huge amount of the lion anyway in a competitive list. Yeah. But he's still good in that kind Thank of uh, casual play. I think yeah. he's very good there. And he can actually be a little bit too oppressive for new beginners to kind of play around. He's very hard to shift if you don't have the tools in your army. The detachments are interesting. We didn't really have enough of one type of detachment to give a full showing, but I think... Yeah. Um, well, our masterclass on Dark Angels will be coming out very, very soon. I know it's all been recorded, it's being edited, so if you want to get our like tactical bits, then the masterclass is perfect for that. Oh, and by the way, if you join the Academy, you also get masterclass access for the 16 weeks as well, so you get all that bundled in. Okay. So, um, what am I doing here? 
Oh, his, Samael. Let's see what he does. You know what? If I don't lose terribly on your upcoming turn, yeah. I might be in an actually very perfect position to gambit. Don't do that. Do not do a gambit. Why not? Well, it's like, you know, when you're playing Helm's Deep and you want to just, like, jump from one chasm to another. We all saw what happened then, right? I rolled double sixes. It was amazing. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> so, six attacks from sustain to your Chimera. That's a very good roll, but no sixes, unfortunately, so no sustain. Uh, strength six. T9. Fives. Three, please. Ooh, AP. Three. So, all right, sixes. Nothing. Two damage each. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got five wounds remaining. Okay. Boom. All right. Nice. That's it. That's it. That's it. End of my turn. Done. Uh, I got behind me lines for three. Mm -hmm. I cleanse for three. So give me six points, please. That puts and you to 26. Now. Hey, I'm winning. Uh, let's let's finish this there. Let's go get some ice cream. Game's over. I win. Let's no. go. Let's go. Good. So I'm just going to mute you guys for a quick second here and update everybody on what's happening. We're 26 to 21 at the end of turn two. Um, Nick has lost most of his army, but he does have some shenanigans to pull still. Steven's definitely in a bit of a... I would say a commanding position at this point. However, there's some snipers on the board still. Uh, we still have those two sniper shots to come up before we hand the turnover. So uh, Nick gets to choose whether he's gonna give one to Steven or whether he's gonna take them both and be greedy, which was such a, somebody said it was, he's been out Canadian by a Brit being polite and offering him the extra shot. So and letting him choose. I think that's 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 pretty pretty classic at this point. Update two, we're just short of 1,500 to head that one year free masterclass for somebody who super chats. So super chats, gifted donations, whatever it might be, um, we are absolutely uh, super, super pumped that Mr. Steven Box has offered to do so. So that's a bonus for you guys. Um, not only do you help us out, but hey, you could win something too. That's kind of neat. Okay, can I answer that question? Is that okay? Yeah, go for yeah, it, please. Um, Jin of the Sheep said, is the Academy course suited for fundamentals or is it more designed to make better at tournaments? So if you're completely new, then if you join uh, because you use the code play, I'm gonna also give you the, play, uh, the start playing course, which is like real basics. And we've got some really cool games there around the phases, but it is all fundamentals about like, for example, module one, how to write an army list, how to critique it, looking at your strengths and weaknesses, developing a play style, all around the models that you own. Then we go into lesson number two, module two, which is like mission play, et cetera, et cetera. We have one module on tournament, you know, preparing for a tournament. We have one more module on sportsmanship and also the etiquette of that. So out of those 15 modules, we cover absolutely everything. If you don't want to go to a tournament, that's absolutely fine. We just want to arm you with the confidence to be able to go, hey, I want to go to my local club and have a pickup game. Um, and just kind of feel a little bit more like you're in control when you're at the table and not constantly panicked or being gotcha momented. Oh. Ryan Johnson just put us over the top. That is 1,500 Canadian, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you so much. That is so cool. Wow. I mean, that's we've got two. We, we did it. Pick two winners so far. We get to pick okay. two winners at yeah. the end of this. We're going to pick those. Should we do that in the stream, or should we do that on the private stream? Or I'm not sure how we do. Let's all that do that chance. at the end of this next turn. Yeah, sounds good. Because to be honest, we'll be. I, I, to be clear, I am not going to give up. I've got assets on the table, and as mm. long as as long as this turn doesn't go too terribly. You know, I got well, a chance. You guys, are, you guys are a little short on time, so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna blow all of the four sniper shots we have loaded up right now. All right, and to be clear, everyone watching, you need to know that this is a double feature today. There is another live stream going on later today. If Steven wins this game, he's gotta hold on to that title by facing JT with his Drukari in a membership-only live stream, a YouTube membership or Patreon membership that's happening today at three o'clock p.m. PST. Yeah, which is in two and a half, uh, one and a half hours. Sounds good. Maybe I'll do another giveaway then. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? All right, here we go. Dark Angel, thank go ahead. you very much. Okay, cool. So, um... Wait, sniper shots. Oh, it's a good question for you, too, there, Stephen, in uh, chat. Well, Nick picked sniper shots. And who's... Uh, how many are you taking? You taking all four, or are you giving Stephen any? I'll give him one. He's a guest. Into Samuel. <laughs> I miss. How many do I get? You get one. I uh, know there's get... four remaining. So oh, there's... you have one. I'll take three. <laughs> well, there we go. Same again, then? Well, you said I couldn't fire the same guy, so I'm not. So let's finish off this squad here, if I can. I hit. It does. Three more wounds. Oh, no. Yes. And then into these guard, these guys right here. Yep. That's a hit. And it does. Two more wounds. Kills another one of them. Whereabouts? Right here. Okay, cool. Right, and I get one. You yeah. get one. What do you want? Um, 
Mm. Do this. Chimera. Yeah. It okay. hits. How many more wounds? Two mortal wounds, down to three. Cool, cool, cool. So, super chat was the question was uh, regarding the difference. Uh, compare contrast between Vanguard tactics approach and Art of War's approach in 40k in competitive. I honestly, I'm not on their program, and I wouldn't be able to comment on you know how they go about their different styles. Um, Richard Siegler, I get on incredibly well with. We have you know so much in common, and we really do get on incredibly well. So, honestly, whoever you decide, I'm sure you're going to be in great hand. Okay, but we really focus on all the different fundamentals of the game. And if you feel like that's like something for you, uh, the other thing I can also offer you is uh, a chance to go and like book in a one-to-one -one call with us. We have that on our website. So if you were wanting to find out a little bit more information, you can book in for a call and there's no obligation. We also have a four week money back guarantee. So if you join the course, hate it, or realize you're too busy or it's not for you, I'll give you all, all your money back and anything you've learned, I can't really extract from your head. So, you know. There you go. I wish I could, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Dark Angel, uh, Owen's going to find you that Frontline Gaming yeah, yeah. our affiliate so, link, actually, that you can follow. Cool, cool, cool. You so, still have Capture Enemy Outpost. I do. So one card draw, extend battle lines. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so I, oh, you don't, I don't know Battleshock here anymore. Nope. Um, because you killed these, these guys. Have to be Battleshock. Yeah, those guys. Ah, that's pretty big, actually. Hopefully I pass it, and I have on a six. Those guys need a Battleshock, and they failed it. These guys fail. Yep, so they'll just stay there. Two guys in combat. They, they would have piled in there. Shocked. So shocked right now. Okay, so I get a CP. Uh, Azrael's on the table. Uh, so I'm on two. I'm at one. Go up to four. Whoa! Yeah, right, okay. Uh, and I score a 10 on primary, please. Five for here? Five for here? Five for here. Five for there. So, so max is a 10. Max is a 10. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So. Extend battle lines in control no man's land. Okay, so I just stay there and I control that, stay there and I control this. Um, and this guy here can only fall back and shoot. Well, I'm gonna go into the tactical doctor, so that gives me options. Uh, so this guy can fall back and sh charge, I believe, because I think he only gets his ability when he's leading a unit and you killed it. So. Probably. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Did you cover? No, I'm gonna fall back. I'm gonna go tactical doctor in so I can fall back and do stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. Fall back and do stuff. Oh, this unit owes your battle shock check. They as well. do, that's true. Uh, they're okay. Roll okay. seven. So, they're gonna go this way. Yeah, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, I need to O for target. We want O. Hmm. Pretty sure. Uh, Caskin. Caskin. Makes sense. Yep. They'll be pasted. I'll leave the two heavy bolters in range of the objective. As you move those guys, I'll spend one command point on Overwatch to Overwatch them with the, the Flamer tank. Ooh. D6 plus one shot. I got three shots. Ah! Uh, three wounds at minus two. Eight two wounds each. Huh? Two wounds each. Ken Cannon. Two damage each. Heavy Flamer. Yo, three. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wounds. Three more times, I missed one. Ugh. One damage each. One more dead. Yeah, just killed four guys. Give it the soul. Brilliant. Who needs a power fist in life now? That wasn't bad. Cool. That was very good, actually. Yeah, that was, that was worth it. Yeah, that was good. Okay, cool. Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> we have a cool flamer effect, Owen. We should get a flamer effect if we don't have one. Yeah. We need a flamer effect. Because that felt like a that felt like a really nice one. Next next one, let's get let's get flamer effects. <laughs> He'll just fly over there. Do do do. Oh no. No, Sammy, don't fall off your stick. Right. Be cool. Sammy's got a stick. He's on a stick. Um, right, so they're there. This is all gonna hopefully evaporate in a moment. Uh, this gentleman is gonna come over this way. Two. Unit can fall back and charge and shoot. Don't really. Yeah, I'll just fall back. All right, falling back. Mm -hmm. Get a couple shots. Couple of, shots. couple of cheekers, yep. Right. <sighs> this is just my one guy left. You got another guy down here. Oh, cool. Could you please move those? Thank you. Lovely, right. Uh, yeah. Is that a character there? Yes. Oh. You go back here instead? Yeah, so I get a couple of shots, a couple of charges. Yep. 
Right, okay, cool. Uh, shooting phase. We'll go with those two mo guys that have just moved there into into there, yep. So four Commentary shots. Commentary on a couple of dudes. Four miss, great. Uh, yeah, next two. Two hits. Oh, it'd be three hits. And then two saves, please. Save one. One, one dead. Killed one. The unit that fell back, flame a pistol. Two shots. One wound. You could fall back at you? Yeah, I could tactical doctrine. Nice. Once per game. Yeah. Uh, one save, please. No AP. Okay. Chuck and dice. Pretty much. One pistol. Uh, one hits. One wound. My AP minus one. You're okay. No, AP minus one kills him. Oh, all right then. I've just got the commissar left. Just the commissar. These guys here are gonna. Ooh, okay, I need to go with a flame storm first, because otherwise you'll move them out of range. That'll be a problem. How will so... they move out of range? Huh? How will they move them out of range? You've removed the guys in the front. Oh, that's a yeah. jack on one. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is put the. Uh, no, I'll put the flame storms here actually. Yeah, you'll probably ice them. Yeah, put the flame storms here, and I'm gonna come back to that. So I'll go with this unit next, okay? Yeah. Uh, so the two guys that are in rapid fire range. So uh, you decided not to move them in the end? Huh? These, these infantry decided not to move in the end? I did move them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanna be within three yeah. and uh, within rapid fire range. Yeah. So rapid fire range with this unit first into here, okay. and the heavy bolters also into here as well. So this is four shots. You are uh, oath of momented. Four shot anti infantry four plus, and I can reroll uh, two instantly squidged. Minus this dev wounds. Ooh, yeah. right on. And then so two saves? Yeah. That minus? Um, no, they're just dead. Oh, I thought it was two more saves, sorry. Just no, two so just two dead. Wounds. Yeah, I'll take the two front guys off. Like oh, said. I suppose you are toughness three. One would actually be a okay. set, to be fair, yeah. Save it. You're okay, yeah. Is that Commissar dead yet? Not yet. Two heavy bolter shots. Uh, these are sustained one. Okay, they hit on fours, so that misses, but I reroll misses. Okay, and then two sustain, they go back in. And these strength five, so looking for threes, they reroll ones, I believe, this unit. Uh, yes, because you're the O for moment target. So you owe me two are just instantly dead because of devastating wounds, and then five saves AP one, please. On, so cover? Uh, you'll get two guys that are wholly on cover. We'll start with those guys. Yeah. Save them both. Okay. Save one. Save the other one. Okay, just, cool. Just lose the one guy. And then uh, the, the devastating wound. And then two, so three total. Three? Yep. Yeah. There you go, sir. Thank you. No worries. Keep in mind, we're going to be doing a members only live stream after this, uh, uh, right. starting at about three o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so it's going to be myself versus Stephen Box, Drew Kari versus World Leaders. You want to talk about a slobber knocker of a game? It's going to be combat halfway through the first turn. It's not going to be a charge phase. It's going to be nuts. Can't wait. So if you've been gifted a membership or you are a member, make sure to check that one out. Out of range. So, yeah, the flame storm's going here. Yeah. The assault cannon's going here. The multi melt is going oh. here. And then the uh, storm bolt is also going here as well, okay? So the assault cannon, first of all. Thank you. Venemos? Sure, Venemos. I accept Nurgle and Fire Venom Cannon. Your whole army's dead. Oh, cool. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means you get to shoot a sniper, Nick. <laughs> well, we'll let him finish his interaction first. So, uh, the Soul Cannon's here first. You are the Oath target. Thank goodness, because I missed you with absolutely everything. Uh, only three hits. Uh, Devil's Twin Link, Strength Six. Three saves here, please. Three saves. You've got one guy on cover, but it is your sergeant. Uh, minus anything? No. Okay, save it then. Save it. Save it. Ooh, very nice. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there's two storm bottle shots. Two hits. Uh, two wounds. AP nothing. Save one. One goes through. Right there, then. Yeah. Uh, the multi melter here. Two shots. Two hits. Uh, no wounds. Over here, flame storm cannons. Five hits. Oh. We're gonna live. Plus three. Each. Are we starting at 3.30 or 3 p.m. for the next three. one, Nick? 3 o'clock. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, AP 2, no cover. 9 dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> There's one guy left. Any particular one? Leave this one? Yeah, yeah sure, leave that Sammy. guy. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. There you go. Cool. Uh, that's all of him. He's done all of his shots. Uh, okay, cool. Sammy is going to put everything into here. Uh, okay. I've got the twin storm bolter, two shots from that, and it's rapid fire. Okay, cool, that is four shots, four hits. 
Uh, four wounds, please. No AP. You won't get cover. You dead? Two dead. Mm. You, yeah, leave that guy. So he's got the help point. Yep. And then the plasma cannon. Oh, you've got more. Yeah. It's a master craft. <laughs> it's still going! Now three. you know how it feels, Nick. <laughs> oh, I know how it feels. Two's re-rolling because of oath. Two hit, strength eight. Uh, two wounds, AP three. Oh, yeah. Well, did anybody get cover? Nope. Nope, they're both dead. They're cool. I was going to melt a mine, yeah. Oh. That would have been nice. Yeah, I would have. Still a living commissar? Yeah, he's still alive right here. So, charge phase. Because he's got time for pistol shots. Uh, Samael is going to charge back into the... The tank. The tank, yeah. Makes sense? Uh, yeah. I made it. And I want to stay within four inches of here. So if I kill you, I can pile in that way. Makes sense. Um, this unit want to chill. He wants to charge into... You've overwatched already, haven't you? I have. I have no command points. So I'm charging into both here. And he's got three wounds left, I won't forget. I should have no command points, by the way. I should have zero command points. Um, yeah, I've got you on zero. It's just this the, unit charging into here. Weird. Four. Yeah. This unit, I will take off. Yeah. You get in a minute. That, that is so many attacks. You get an Uber? Yeah, these are getting an Uber. Yeah. This unit guardsman on the vehicle, on the directive, gone. Assault incestors into, uh, into that guy. Three. I'm oh. within four, right? But these can't charge. Yeah, they can. Oh, they can. Tap Tap the the four, oh, right. Charge. Yeah, they're in. Yeah. Just barely. Cool, cool, cool. And then the infiltrators also. Yeah, you're doing you need roll. Can you please wrap them so you can't escape? That'd be fantastic. Thank you. You're cheeky, surrounded. The old cheeky tri point. Uh, this Redeemer is going to stay there. Infiltrator is going to stay over there. Oh, I want to see that one. Okay. I'm going to set that up. That looks cool. Oh, I've never seen the top med before. You can keep going. Oh, it's not set Don't up. mind Nick. He's just walking around moving a camera. <laughs> oh, I can't see it. He just can't stop being the, sh being the shooter that he is. Right, we're going to go with uh, Asmodee with his five attacks into the uh, Sentinel. He's hit five times. Uh, strength six. What's your toughness on a sentinel? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, cool. So that is just two saves at AP two. One goes through. Two damage. He's down to, I think, five. Oh, I got one here for you. I'm on it. Right, uh, Sammy. Can you do three wounds? Kill the camera. I don't know. We'll see. Dun, 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 dun. The... Chapter Master of the Raven Wing, is it? Yeah, something like that. Sustain two, I rolled a six. And we need some saves here. That is only one. So, uh, one please, AP three. Yep, goes through. Ooh, one, two damage, you got one wound left. One wound left. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. They'd have just when they yep. killed Consolidate. You kill the objective. I want to see you win this fight, or sorry, fail this fight, and then the commissar kills another guy. What? Yeah. No. So incest number first. He's, a, he's a brave dude, this commissar. Swordman. Uh, four attacks, I believe. Four hits. Rerolling ones to wound. Uh, okay, you might have actually survived because I'm not only strength five. So one save AP two. Uh, it goes through. Just one damage. Then he's got he's got two wounds remaining. Four attacks from the chain sword. Uh, one miss. That misses two. And then rerolling two saves AP one. Saves one. Okay, cool. Then the infiltrators. Still alive? Yeah. Nice. You can do this. Inf Live, Commissar. Infiltrators have just missed four out of six hits. You can do it, Commissar. Two wounds, no AP. He lives. He lives. Ah, oh, the Commissar is gonna live. And now Don't he... turn around. Fair play. The Commissar's in town. Fair play. I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. yeah he's gonna strike him back. On who? I don't know. One of the guys. Whoever's most likely to be killed. Sure. One wound, two wounds and minus two. What strength are you? Three. Why are you wounding my threes then? Oh, right, you're not one. good. I'm okay. I killed one. No, that's my wound. Never mind. I got six. He's still good. He lives. That'd be fun. It's awfully excited. Have yeah. you used your shot, Nick, already? My shot? We haven't shot. used any shot. Venomous yeah. gave you the shot. Oh, oh, do, what, what? oh, that was a real shot. Oh, where do, where do, where do, oh, yeah. yeah. Venomous gave you a sniper shot. Oh, and you said, we'll it. wait till his phase is done. Oh, yeah, so the phase is done? Huh, he's dead. You shoot into combat, can you? It's a sniper. Wow. No, you can't shoot into combat, dude. You can't shoot into combat? No. Well, then I can't shoot anywhere. It's got to be a target. Fine, I'll shoot these guys right here. What? Hits. Wounds. Oh, sorry, sorry. Three mortal wounds right here. Three mortal wounds right here. Benimos, thank you. 
<laughs> I feel like the chat's against me. No, they're just cheering for an underdog at this point. <laughs> right, that's my turn. A What'd sheet. you score? Uh, so basically everything. Capture enemy outpost for eight, extend battle lines for five. Yeah! Nice commanding leader right there. Thank you. I will Discord score the link is. five points You're for primary. Five here, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure who the Discord link is, guys. Um, so, give me five points for primary, please. Uh, how you get to the Discord, there is no Discord link. You have to connect your uh, Discord account to your YouTube account, and then it'll automatically connect you up with any Discord, any memberships that you're a part of. Um, so you have to go into Discord, go into permissions or integrations, and basically sign in with your YouTube account in Discord. And then you automatically get assigned. Great. Oh, I get to fight you back with the Chimera. Sure. Why not? Treat yourself. I will. With three. Three hits. Wound you twice. Yes, yeah, a Steven Box car, I know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You're so, be so proud. <laughs> Two hits. Uh, one wound on the chapter guy, Azrael. No! Yeah, I done a two! No! Are you in range of the Sentinel as well? Yes! Yeah. Two eye punch. Hits you once? No! Wounds you once, a minus one. Don't do it! No! One wound left. Is it possibly two damage? Oh, if it is, I'm dead. Is the Sentinel... The Sentinel blade, because he has a like, little chainsword thing. Dude. Sentinel chainsword. Melee oh, weapon. It's just one damage. Okay, cool. We're gonna come by then. Alright. Got him so, down to one wound, though. That was good. Yeah. Very good. Hey, you scored a massive amount of points, up to 44. Yeah. What are my turn? You gave me my five points? Mm -hmm. I'm way behind. I'm not giving up. So in the middle of Nick's turn here, we're 44-31, and he is on the ropes. What secondaries is Nick going to draw? Defense draw holds a lost cause. I'm at one command point. Mm I'm just gonna have to accept that I have to spend Defense Stronghold. Capture any outpost, I'm gonna do though. Okay. I'm gonna spend uh, a command point to auto pass for that guardsman back there. Well, I'm OC5. Oh, then there's no point. Yeah, I forgot you're OC5 and you're on the objective. Yeah. Yeah, never well, mind. Well, I might be OC4, but I'm definitely more than two. You're definitely more than two. Yeah, I'm a big tank. Yeah. And if you do move, I'm gonna overwatch you, so. Then I won't do that. Then I'll spend the command point instead on Defense Stronghold going away. Getting a new objective, cool. and getting no prisoners. Ooh. Kill stuff and yeah. capture enemy outposts. Well, kill so him. Just, kill just as a sure. note here, folks. Um, Let's do it. As the, as the voice in the room, oh, trust me, there is absolutely no salt here. These guys are laughing their butts off and uh, just giggling every time something blows up. It's all in good fun. There's definitely zero salt factor. Now, me, on the other hand, knowing full well I have to play against Steven after watching us snipe all his characters out, makes me a little nervous for the game coming up. Because I'm the guy directing it, and I feel I might be in trouble. <laughs> But Steven doesn't hold grudges, does he? Oh, all of them. Especially if I'm playing Votan. <laughs> oh, no, Votan, baby. Drew Kari. Oh. But I appreciate the Votan reference and mm. my beard. The little Marine, the little Guardsman that could is going to move and advance. Is he battle shocked? Oh, is he battle shocked? Who knows? Six. He he's is. Very shocked. So he's going to, he's not going to, can he advance when he's battle shocked? Yeah, he just can't use any stratagems. He yeah, can't okay. do any objectives. Yeah, so he's going to be running the objective. How far are you going, mate? 12 inches. Yeah, no problem. 12? You rolled a six. Wow. That's very good. Commissar's going to stay in combat. Uh, the Hellhound's going to stay in combat. The Sentinel, stay in combat. Yep. The Chimera, there's zero point of leaving. So you can stay in combat. These horses that I brought in from reinforcements gonna go are going to back off. <laughs> nope, they're going to go back here. <laughs> this is my last ditch play to take capture enemy outpost. They're going to be nine inches away. He is touching the wall here with his land raider. Yeah. Which means I could possibly make a nine inch charge into this vehicle. Yep. Take the objective away from you. Yes. Big, That's my play. It's a big play. This is exactly where you want to. Do you have a CP or not? Uh, no, I spent it on ditching the ditching the objective. Ah, uh, so you don't have a reroll, but it would have been a good place to have a CP. It would have, but I tried to trade CP for VP. Yes. In a different way. Yes. By getting a different objective that I can achieve. No, definitely. And you were yeah. to know to save your CP. So, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely, yeah. There's no order to do except for... I'll do uh, duty non... Or sorry, fixed bayonets with the commissar. He can give himself that. Joel. That's it. So you need to kill some units. Yeah, let's shoot. First of all, the Sentinel is going to shoot into combat against... Uh, Azrael, Asmadi, with, yep. Asmadi, whatever it is, with Sith an auto cannon. Lang, you're very uh, welcome. Oh, he's going to choose target 18 and reroll ones to hit against that guy. Oh yeah, himself. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Two, one hit. Yep. <sighs> Damn it. 
Not reroll once a wound. That's okay. Okay. Then the Hellhound is going to split fire. His Heavy Flamer into... Yeah, good choice. Yeah, and his Chem Cannon into these guys. Yeah. Heavy Flamer into Asmo Die. Four shots. Take four wounds. Okay. Minus one. Kill him. Kill him! He's dead. Got him. Chem Cannon. Seven shots. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wounds and minus two. Ooh. Oh my. That is two damage each. I wiped him. <laughs> what is that thing? I love Hellhounds with Chem Cannon. They're it's, so much fun. It's killed more than anything else in your army. You yeah. You should have bought three. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, this guy? He's going to shoot a pistol in the combat. Sure. Overcharging. He misses. Okay. Because <laughs> it blows him up. Serves him so no, right. It <laughs> 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 okay. Um, into combat, into Azrael. Why yeah. not? Uh, heavy flamer. Five shots. Four, five. Sorry, mate. You're facing the front, and it's, you're shooting it, but you can't do that. Yeah. Where have you been for the last three editions? Yeah. Uh, three wounds. I'm okay. And <laughs> multi laser hits twice. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. No minus. I'm okay. Uh, Blast gonna ray. One lethal, two hits, and become one more wound. So two wounds. Any AP? Nope. Takes a wound. So he is down to six wounds. And then the big epic charge. Can the horses make it into the Land Raider? I need a nine on two dice. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Big charge. He's only gone and done it. This is obscene. Ba -ba -ba Boom. God. Wow, the so I can get one in here. Sure. Which then this guy touches a base. You just want this to get guy touches a base. No, 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 no. You want the objective. Don't worry about killing me. Take the objective at this stage true. in the game. That's true. He's doing nothing for you right now. That's true. How, yeah. What's your OC? So you want to go ten, but you can't actually base me. So you want to make sure you go that way round. Okay. You, but they're all in, right here. Now they are. Yeah. yeah. What's your OC though? Uh, let's have a look. If it's five, I didn't take it because they only have OC one. I am five. Oh, big However, play. It still contests me five points. It contests points, the objective, sure. And that means I'm not going to get, well, I might get, no, you're actually, it's a massive play because it still denies me five points. Yeah, rather than getting the it doesn't get me eight though. No, but let's not be greedy, all right? Let's, <laughs> let's take, not be greedy. Let's take what you can. All right, one melt of lands into you. Uh, well, I'll take two because I'm touching. Well, you uh, can't fight through each other because you're not touching me. You need right, to be base, only base, one. Base, Thank base, you yeah. for that. I forgot about that. All right, so one. I wish, hit it, I wish you could hit. do that, though. That'd be cool. It's not a wound. Okay. So my attack's back. Yeah. Six attacks back. Uh, miss with four. Winning on twos. Nothing. Cool. Good job. Ongoing combats. Uh, this one or that one? Do the, do the tank. I'll go, Sammy. The tank. Let me have a chance of the commissar. Sammy. Fives and sixes. Okay, cool. Uh, one more save. Uh, four saves, please. AP three or something. You're dead. You're dead. Do you explode? Does it explode? No. Nope. Play on live stream. Re -roll. Re roll it. No. no. There you go, sir. And then you give me a chance with the commissar and to try to kill a guy. As we said, pile in four just to get to there. Two hits. Yep. Become no wounds. And I'll take him off. Sure. Commissar dies. He was a hero. He almost did it. What is your OC on uh, two? I think. Uh, um, so I can test that one. <laughs> yeah. Not enough to hold it. Got a message for you in chat there, Nick. Gotta go. Good game, fellas. Nick, sorry you got Stephen Box. See you at the next gun. I'll see you there. Looking forward to it. Mm. All right. Uh, that's my turn. I scored no points. No, I scored no prisoner points. You did. I you you I actually killed one, two units. Take five points. Yep. Give me five. Uh, two each, isn't it? No prisoners. Right. Give me four. four. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think, gentlemen, uh, we're uh, we're coming to the end of our stream time here, almost. and. It looks like that's going to be a Dark Angel victory at yeah, this point. Yeah, at that point, it makes sense to concede. I didn't get the charge here. I didn't get everything I needed. You can test me off there. It does mean you only score five on primary. Oh, no, I forgot about them. You've got there. He'll score 10 on primary, yep. putting you easily in the lead. So give him 10 points on primary. Then on your turn, you'll you like, you wipe me. I got bring it down and assassinate. I already get assassinate because I've already killed your warlord. So and that's bring five it down. points, and I just kill 
Good, good game, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, so the, well done. Well, the cool thing is here, a couple things to reminder. Um, we want to thank everybody for tuning in and thank everybody for donating and super chatting. Uh, we really appreciate it because it does, like I say, help us keep the lights on. It, it helps keep us in cup and coffee because we work ridiculously long hours um, to bring you guys all this stuff. So we really do appreciate you being here and being, being in the chat and having some fun with us. And yes, we know it's not a traditional 40K game with the crazy sniper shenanigans, but it wouldn't be a fun Friday afternoon without it or Friday evening, depending on where you're at. A uh, couple things, too. Uh, Steven Box uh, is sponsoring this episode with Vanguard Tactics and the Academy. Yep. There is a link in the chat that you can save 10% on the Academy. It does start on the Monday, yep. but I think so, sign-ups run to the 11th. Steven, is that right? That's it. You can enroll uh, basically until seven days after that, but the course starts basically on Monday. All right, so we give people one week if they, you know, last-minute decisions. We do a couple of webinars. If you're unsure, you can join me at some point if you're on our mailing list. So jump on a Zoom with me, find out if you've got more questions. I appreciate it. it's a heavy investment. Um, but you're going to learn so, so much, and I know you're going to love it. And if you don't, I'll give you your money back in the first four weeks. But, yeah, we've got some winners to pick. Yeah, we do. And you guys also do, we should mention as well, that it's not just one big chunk of change. You guys will break that up over four payments as well, won't you? Yeah, exactly that. You've got a couple of different payment plans and options. So we need one winner, first of all, to win. We'll do the Masterclass Series first because that prize is slightly less. That's right. So this is because of you guys. So Masterclass Series, how long was this for, Stephen? Uh, 12 months is normally $30 uh, a month. Thank you, Coburn Alpha. And just a mention for someone earlier said, uh, shouldn't I have got the objective because I had a guardsman on it? Yes, I had the guardsman on it, but he was battle shocked, which means didn't hold the objective. And I said, if he wasn't battle shocked, I got six CPs, I would have overwatched him. Exactly. Hands, so. Yeah. So, yeah, that was amazing. That was so, so much fun. Oh, here we've got the wheel. The, the wheel, wheel is coming up. Mo or uh, rather, Owen is about to uh, spin that wheel. We're just updating. We make sure we got everybody in it. And we're going to... So we said a few come in just now, didn't we? We're going to add one, more, gonna add one more name. So we're Do you done. Guys want to vamp for like 30 seconds? 30 seconds of vamping. Name. All right. <laughs> I got to say, that like, this this was a fun game to watch. Um, you guys had a ton of fun. Uh, it really looked like a fun game. Um, there was a lot of back and forth and a couple of, couple of shots at each other, a little dry. Rye, rye British humor. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. I think my personal favorite uh, has to be the commissar joke I made. But I don't know. Was there was there anything you guys enjoyed about that I game that really stood my out? My favorite joke was my joke. I mean, I think my favorite joke was the fact that my big beam sword exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it blew up real good. <laughs> Did we see one? Uh, we're about to rotate it. Here okay. we go. Are Spin we ready on? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. So the winner of the, the masterclass. The drawing was only for people who I'm super chatted. The wheel uh, spin. Yeah. Uh, Steven was but kind enough to don donate uh, some. I'll give away some other prizes in the members one. So if you want to become a member real quick, watch our next game, do some super chatting, and uh, yeah, we'll do some more prizes. Yeah. Yeah, so the ne the very next stream is happening in about an hour. We've got a membership-only stream happening, so if you just got gifted a membership, come go in. Uh, didn't see my name either. We're trying to get the wheel to spin here, folks. Apologies. It doesn't want to spin. <laughs> look, at, look at people thinking I'm funny. That is great. <laughs> Meryl sa says he's missing from the from the list there. Yeah. Um, so we've got no, no good Did game. Did they donate either? before we hit 14? Or 15, rather. Uh, it's possible, but don't know. We can go take a look. Yeah, we'll go take a look. Well, we'll, hey, we'll in the take a minute here. You know what? You know what? Let's have uh, let's let's go. Through, well, Owen's gonna go through the super chats. Make sure we didn't miss anyone. Double check that because we don't want anyone to feel left out. No. And in the meantime, I gotta say, Stephen, that was a fun game, enjoyable. It was awesome. Um, so critique me. Do the do the Vanguard thing. What did I do wrong here? Okay, so I think having your vehicle here. Yep. Just in a place where I can move, block it. Yeah. It's not good. It's probably a poor life choice. Yeah, I would have personally surrounded it with some infiltrate. Yeah. Because you know I've got these infiltrating units. I would have loved to have seen yeah, some infiltrating cool. units in your army just to basically Sorry guys, we've stop cut, we've cut off all the, uh, this donations from happening. Makes sense. That is the now, issue so when you take a massive... And obviously your army really depends on it. Like, yeah. you're investing a huge amount of points. You need to protect it with some other assets. Fair enough, fair enough. So fair even enough. having some scout moving fair units enough. and some... Basically, you need to move block my move blocks. That's a fair point. Like, I could have made, put penalty back here. Yeah, I could have just put that there and put some guard in front of it. Yeah, but ha yeah, having some infiltrating units that can set up nine inches away will just prevent, you know, a fast army, even just little chaffy Dark units inches. coming in and doing what I did. Smart, so um, smart that would have helped from, I think, an army list construction point of view. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you've got some nice little scoring units, some units inside, like deep strike would have been good. 
because that would have made me forced to keep my infiltrators back and not out in the front. Yeah. So because you didn't have those assets, I was I could play aggressively with them. Yeah. Whereas if I was worried about you dropping in with you know even scoring objectives, I may have played a little bit differently. That was the intent with the the, the reinforcements coming in to, yeah. to make things like that. But they're not guaranteed, right? Because you have you to have correct. the two CPs. Yeah. It's quite an investment. Yep. Um, and because they're coming in from strap reserves, it's a little bit different. So, but yeah, I mean, you did do damage. That you. There I were mean, times when I was quite surprised by the amount of damage you did do. I, I got um, enough, like this guy, hero of the game for me. The, the. Mm. <laughs> he was great. Yeah, the chem cannon can be fun. I've had to be whiffy because if you roll poorly on the amount of dice, it's just like, oh, well, I did nothing. He's perfect into Marines. Like, yeah, he's under really Marines good. is really good. Yeah. He can be, yeah. Yeah. I, I've had him do well, but I've also had him do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yep. No. I was really impressed with these inner circle guys. Like, so good! They not only look beautiful. They look um, very pretty. So we, very, very pretty. We, we've been a bit cheeky. I, yeah. I, got, I got one box, so thank you Games Workshop for sending me that box. Um, but there's enough spares in there, heads and swords. I took a Judaser model. So this is a Judaser, made him oh, into one. Oh, right, yeah. it is! I noticed that now. This is an, an Empress champion that I converted. Oh, I love it, it's and beautiful! I, and I found an old Sword Brethren cloak, so uh, gave him a cloak as well. And this one here is actually a blade guard that I also gave a cloak to. Um, so yeah, there's three. You didn't even know they were there? No, I didn't. So, these are gorgeous, man. Yeah, I think running them with Azrael was super good. You could also run them with Osmodi because, or Asmodee, because you then get rerolls. Um, yeah, these are cool. Self-sufficient with lethal and sustain. Indeed. They're a cool unit. Yeah. yeah. How are we doing back there, gents? Need double, double checking, just double checking back there. Double check. Give it a spin, give it a spin. All right. All right, I'm still trying to figure out what the Discord server is. You have to go to Discord, uh, and you have to go to the uh, settings, and then there's it's either permissions or integrations. You have to sign in with your YouTube account, and that will automatically put you in, all right? So you get- Ryan Johnson is our is our winner. We'll find you in chat, we'll send you a message and uh, connect you with Vanguard. Yeah, so um, yeah. No, actually, to be clear, Ryan, you need to email us. Yes. Email us at uh, uh, playontabletop at gmail.com. Yeah. And uh, that's the only way they're gonna do that. You uh, need to then give them permission to send me your email address. Exactly, so that those two things. And you have to use your email address from your Gmail account that you commented on so we know it's you. <laughs> Nice. So don't use a different one, and uh, there you go. Yep, perfect. So we need another wheel now, or the same wheel. Spin but Spin the wheel again. Unfortunately, Ryan, you cannot win the yeah. Academy course, all right? Yeah. If it's the one I'm thinking about, it automatically takes up the, uh, the next one. Oh, okay, cool. That's, it's pretty cool, That's yeah. That's good like that, yeah. Um, okay, we got another spin coming. So Ryan Johnson, make sure to email us at playontabletop at gmail.com, and we'll get that started. And who's going to win who's a ticket win? to the Academy? Here we go. Here we go. It's uh, Adrios. Adrios, look at that! Congratulations. Jukari enthusiast. Adrios, Adrios. Awesome. And that little one beside him, he's been a member for a year. So well done. What an absolute legend. Definitely a legend. So thank you so much. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate all the donations. Really appreciate all the uh, contributions because without you guys, we really could not be doing this. YouTube, uh, YouTube advertising revenue is not enough to sustain our channel. So it really comes down to you lovely people supporting us through streams like this or joining our membership where we have tons of awesome exclusive content, narrative campaigns, yep. and exclusive live streams like the one we're about to do in about an hour. And in addition, we have a new series coming out very soon called King of the Coliseum. It's supposed to come out early next week. And basically what this is, is we're gonna go through every single faction at 40K uh, in a 500 point Coliseum battle, in which is really small tactical games. It's really fun. We get to go through them all. And if you win the fight, you move on to the next one with the same army, same player. You see how long you can go until you get kicked out and we'll see which army wins. I think it's gonna end up being like 29 games in that series we've recorded. 10, there's been some really surprising upsets. Okay. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. And uh, JT, do you want to take us away? Oh, once again, the Dark Angels have proven victorious in their hunt for the Fallen. Was Lord Cosine Lord Leonidas? Was he really Leontes? Was he a traitor or not? We will never know. But for the purposes of this game, until you see us next time in the far-flung future of a grim dark universe, play on. Come on.